Is that up? Yo, I got tea today. Like, <laughs> I got mad tea today. Like, this is crazy. What's going on? Actually, this is an unreleased song. I could put the link in y'all for his IG for when he does drop his songs. But this is Nas right here. I'm gonna just drop his IG in the chat if y'all see that. Watching old hella streams. This is what I'm going to say, bro. Right? It's been about a year since school been done for me. And I was like, I don't think I want to really be caught up in the loop. You know, streaming all the time, streaming all the time. Like, let me go outside, live a little life sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess what that's what I've been doing. But I just have stories. I have perceptions. We have some things to talk about. If there's something right now that you guys want to bring up and talk about. Um... <laughs> Yo, and yo, anybody that has Caribbean remedies, please swing me some because, bro, I feel like I've been getting sick like every three weeks, and it's been bothering me, bro. Like every three weeks, I have a cold. Like my immune system getting weak. Like I feel like I'm about to pass away, bro. Like this shit's starting to irk me, bro. Omalate situation. If that's how you say his name, Omalate. Omalate. Me fucking blood. I I I I I me I I I. Um, and I had it in my bookmarks, but before I showed you my bookmarks, I had to clear my bookmarks. So let's get professional. Hem, 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 hem. Lemon, ginger, and honey. You low-ranking Caribbean. This nigga just told me lemon, ginger, and honey. I'm talking about some real bush. I'm talking about bush I can't pronounce, bro. <laughs> like, bro, I've been sick. Like, I stay sick. Like, I feel like a creature, bro. Okay, so for everybody, for the people that brought up the concert, right? Everybody here already knew, everybody here already seen the video about the concert, right? So that's it, right? Cersei T, you're not talking about nothing, gang. I'm not gonna lie. You're not talking about nothing right now, bro. Yo, before I get into what I gotta get into, let me show y'all something real quick. Why? Now, there's no context to bring up this child, right? So, oh, that sounds mad crazy. I have a child, right? Serious, serious thing, right? <laughs> Yo, learning a lot about OJ right now, right? <laughs> Alright, so there's no real context, so I'ma just I'ma just give you a T, right? <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> Yo, y'all y'all point question mark, none of y'all niggas is even laughing right now, like <laughs> Yo I pick me, I pick me. I'm about to lose all the gal right now. Nah, I'm joking. I don't have no child. Me have a child? Ugh, I wouldn't... Ugh, I can't even make that joke. Hey, hi! 
I can't even make that joke. I almost make, made a little family guy meme. So, let me show you guys something, right? Because there's no context to bring up this child, right? Over whooping, over whooping, right? Over whooping. So, yeah, I remember when I brought up this child on stream one day. Maybe a few people remember, right? I got this for a little project. Not on no weird stuff, just walking around with a little fake baby, right? So, I seen this in one of my old bag city. And I was just like, like, I just needed some cloth real quick to wipe off something. Something. I had to wipe off something. So, I'm like, let me take off the cloth real quick. Why I take off the cloth? Graphic warning. And this is from Amazon. This. Why I take off the cloth? No. This can. <laughs> Yo, I stuttered. I started talking to myself like, no, this cannot go on. Yo, I I stepped back in the room like, no, I hope they're not doing this for these kids. I hope they, yo, because I was the kid. I was the kid in that Flatbush daycare. There was no pum pum, and I still put my tongue on that Barbie doll. So I don't even know what they could be doing. But I'm looking at like, look at this mini pum pum. Yo. I was mad shocked, bro. They put that shit on there, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, yo, all my ladies, we have new things to discuss because I started catching up on Baddies East. And Lord, we have to discuss that too. Today is going to be a discussion day, a reaction day, a judgment day. Lord have mercy. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, okay, okay. They going to cancel me? OJ, I'm questioning your intentions. You need to question your mind because nobody's mind went there. Everybody put LMFEO. But if you have a... We need to contact the authorities. This is not a joking matter. <laughs> we need to contact the authorities because I don't know where your mind just went. Get the fuck out of here. You look a nasty boy. What are you talking about, bro? Oh, this shit been boring as hell. Okay, so... Yeah, I had to clear out my bookmarks, so everybody's seen the video. I'm going to just show the video one more time, right? Basically, um... It's uh, the guy is like, what the hell? Like, this nigga baby. right here is at a concert with some nigga named Oma something. Some African nigga, Oma something. And his girl is at the concert with him, most likely that he paid for it. And his gal went up on the stage. And I ain't going to lie, before I seen the video... And I just, like, before I understand, understood the whole context and I just seen them behind the thing and I seen that the nigga was fake, you know, bricked up, I thought he really had his meat in here and I was like, yo, this is not real right Went now. Went down. Yeah, he takes her. The guy is like, what the hell? He's like, you, baby. He's like, no, babe, please. <laughs> please, please. She's like, I don't care about you. I'm going. Bye-bye. She's going to say shit. She ready to go, girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, his face. His face. Yo, she looked like Jen Carter when Jen do something she not supposed to do. Face. Oh, she was like, I'm out of there. <laughs> I, this is the best bet when they're doing everything. Yo, cause what, bro? Hold on, let me fix up my thing. Cause why my thing all the way up there? What, bro? Hold on. On stage, everyone's looking at the guy. They're like, Yo, check it, sure guy. Are you okay? Bro, they, oh my god, look at that white lady's laugh. Oh my god, there's some hey, shit I'm everyone's just speaking right him. now. Everyone's like, it's the violation, the violation. <sighs> Fucking reason why you This is Oma Lee. This is, I just saved this for this. This is him. Look. What's your reason for losing me? Tell me what's your reason for losing me. Look who you lost to the streets, bitch. See, look. Fresh ass motherfucker. <laughs> from Marine Bay's Motor <laughs> This who you fucking lost to the street, bitch. <laughs> You're lost. You're lost. <laughs> You're lost, bitch. <laughs> lost me to the Yo, streets. this would have been saying me if he was Nigerian, bro, because it's no way. Hold on, now, before I even get to that, before I even get to that, I don't want to scroll too far down. I don't want to scroll too far down. Let me, hold on, let me get a peek. Me blood. Let me get a peek. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Why they was like, look at the memes they was making. Hold on, look at the memes they was making. This was him. Oh my. <laughs> but like Beyonce, why you doing that, especially with a Jamaican artist? Like, bro, Jay got every reason to cheat if you move it like that, bro. But I am not gonna insert myself because I don't know the timelines of the cheating that occurred. So I'm gonna be very, 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 very silent right now. Like, yo, the memes they Twitter, I don't know why I haven't been on Twitter because the content that you see on Twitter, I could have just shifted my, I could have been shifting my stuff to reactions on Twitter because Twitter is just so funny, bro. Look at the shit that they showing, bro. Talking about some, if this was my nigga going up on a stage, like, face all up in pum pum, bro. Could you imagine? Oh my God, she's shaking her pum. Oh my Lord, have Oh my lord. Like what? Twitter is crazy. Hold on. So we're gonna get to um I'm gonna get to my opinion now. Now I don't know if this is the nigga, but they said this is the nigga right here, right? And his video after. Alright, so they said this is the nigga right here, right? And if this is him She was dancing, we all know the Right? For those who don't know, I went to a concert with my girl. My girl went on stage. She was dancing. We all know the artist already. I don't need to say the artist's name. She was dancing with the artist and it kind of got a bit It's crazy. not him. Okay, okay. Because this nigga was talking about something. What do you guys think I should do? Now... We don't have facts, so when I see people just on social media saying shit like they were together for seven years, like, is there, is there, like, is, was that proven? Like, I don't know, but I'm gonna go off of what niggas heard. So with that, bro, like, if you with some, if you with somebody for seven years, I don't think, I don't think it took you that instance to know that she was that type of girl. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, that's a young relationship, and some niggas be getting in some situations where they have their girl from, you know whatever in high school or college and they don't they never really experience different type of women to pick up on those small th things and small signs so that's the first thing that i thought of right um i don't know seven years is just like bro seven years i feel like i could see some type of movement of my gal being a bird before i even bring her up on that stage and maybe this is the new dating scene maybe when we're taking girls that we like or girls that we have um girls that we we filling out we scoping the scenery on we just bring them to a concert to see how they move after you know we built up that level that that that, that, that little bond to see how they would move but as far as him bro she showed out there's no different opinion i'm gonna get from everybody else she definitely showed out and it's just like did y'all see the video after i didn't save it like the nigga, somebody told him, somebody told the artist to shout out the girl, and he didn't even fully remember her name. Like, you go whining on, you go whining on man for 30 seconds and a man can't even remember your name? <sighs> like, what's going on, bro? Like, that's so key sad. And there's just a dynamic of being an artist where people literally, why am I speaking like I'm slow? It's because my girls is and I'm so sorry. I, literally, like I'm like I was raised up in some bad area in the Bronx. I'm so sorry, but people literally they treat some artists like they put cer certain artists on a pedestal, like on an unreal pedestal. And it's like, bro, like you're this glaze. Like we're all human, bro. Like this is weird. This is bad. And I seen some nigga bringing up an instance of something like. If a nigga was going up on stage acting like that for Jada Kingdom or Shansia, well, I can't say anything about Jada Kingdom. So I'm going to keep my mouth shut about that, right? Because nobody, right? So I'm going to go over that. But I see that perspective. If a nigga was to just be fan, fanboying over some gal and da 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 da, see what I'm saying? And it's not like we 16, bro. Like, it's not like we 16, 17, 18. Like, I feel like once you turn 21, really 22, like, you start sinking into yourself as an adult. And it's like, certain things, bro, why are you moving like that, bro? I don't know how to pronounce that. Jokos. Thank you. Um, I'd bury my face in Jada's behind. Yo, while I was watching, while I was on Jamaican TikTok and they was talking about some Jada breed. Niggas like party, you just have to dislike, bro. Like, ooh, what you mean, Jada? Like, imagine Jada really get pregnant, bro. Why are you doing that, bro? 
but you know everybody does what they want to do right now i don't think there's anything else i need to speak about with that but it's honestly like imagine how he really feel you know and he handled it so well but it's like the people out okay this is what i will say right the people outside that recorded him when he was walking away from the concert bro you know that you know that's just some evil bitches like what like 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 oh, you know it's you, you don't get the dick that you want to get you you get niggas that you you get niggas that you have to settle with those are the type of bitches because why are you recording oh my god i just felt bad for the nigga bro <laughs> like why are you recording him after the concert like let the nigga breathe bro like oh my god bro now for my niggas y'all probably not gonna be in tune with baddies east but I still just had to talk about this because there's been things I've just been missing. I don't know why I haven't been keeping it up. When the OGs know I was watching baddies before everybody was really on baddies. But I came out because, you know, I was sick. Now, this is what I felt like I seen every time I watched baddies. And this is not even them. But this is what I felt like I seen, right? Hold on, because now, now it's giving Bayesian for it. Okay, so peep. Those baddie, those BBLs, like, tch, oh my god, bro. Those BBLs, yo, like, yo, and you know what's funny? Like, the way the cameramen be setting up the angles of the BBLs, they, them niggas know exactly what they doing with, with them shits, bro. Like, and it just be like, I think it's because if some of y'all never seen a BBL, like, really in person, bro, like, if a BBL look bad on camera, it look 20 times as worse in person, bro. Like, it... Oh, I can't even make a joke. Imagine a Samoan... A Samoan skinny nigga with a BBL. That's how it look. Boxed up. Dimensional. That story. It look dimensional. Because no, bro. Now, we about to... We about to I'm about to get in who I like and who I dislike. Because I feel like I'm going to have valid takes. But... All of my perspectives are not solid because I did not finish. I'm going to show y'all what episode I'm on, right? Heavy diaper. I'm on 11, right? I'm on 11, right? So, I've been all the way up here. Now, we could talk about... Oh, my God. First of all, let's go to the cast. Like, why is my computer crashing to save a picture? Like, this is... Oh, my God. Like, Lord have mercy on my soul. Okay, so we gonna get into the cast, right? I ain't seen nothing with, um... I'm on a damn year behind. Bro, I'm not perfect. I'm a nigga. I'm not gonna sit down and watch it the whole day. Like, let's have... Like, let's take into consideration. Like, oh, let's TP on me. So I'm still gonna give all opinions... Don't try to... Are you guys tarnishing my opinions, bro? Because I'm behind? Let me shut my mouth then, bro, and just go to reaction. Because if nobody want to hear my shit because it's old, then I'll just I'll just be old then, bro. Because that just hurt my feelings. I'm not going to lie. That hurt my feelings. Like, I'm not going to lie. That hurt my feelings. So, because I, I feel new to me. Now, who is even this? Because this must be a catfish. Because well, I ain't see that person yet. DJ Sky. Let's start from... Okay, let's start from the episodes, right? Let's start from the episodes, right? So, with episode one, when they were just fighting, I'm like, okay, I have no context. I don't understand what was going on. And it's because I didn't watch the, um, the whatever the rehearsals or the intro or the auditions was to get on. With this again, I'm like, Natalie... Natalie, remind me of this. What was that thing? Natalie remind me of this. Like every time I look at but Natalie dead funny though. Like that's the thing about Natalie. Like you gotta give her, her props. Like I'm not talking about this, bro. This thing right here, bro. Where the thing at, bro? This thing right here mixed with a bit of this. Like eh. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So Natalie 
my vibe that I really get with Natalie once I start watching her is that okay, I think it's so powerful that Natalie is a is a lady that kind of lives in her delusion because the confidence Natalie exerts that's really how she feel about herself. But at the end of the day, it can only benefit you if if you're that confident. You see what I'm saying? So I give her that. I give her her props. Krishan what let's skip okay whoa vicky when she was moving bare holy now how do i feel about whoa vicky moving holy for the, how could i break this down basically vicky came on the show her her agenda was you know i'm preaching for christ i'm pre uh, I, i'm not preaching but i'm um i'm a light i'm a vessel for christ and that's what i will use to say everything basically she got in a scenario where she liked some funny thing about krishan and blue face and and she was trying to be slick and then when krishan thinged her um she was like oh she liked it by accident so it wasn't really on purpose like she'd just be liking shit i don't know what to believe and then krishan roughed her up then her face turned red like we was in fourth grade and that one girl that didn't do nothing so when i look at vicky i was like i didn't know how i felt about that when it came to this episode right here when how do you say her name tashiki tashiki bro this lady is so fine like i don't know what it is but i have an attraction to this lady like she is beautiful to me let's start there it hit different but no she got hands too but when it came to this to Siki, when it came to this episode and at the end vicky was like let's all pray vicky stop bro like <laughs> vicky stop bro because you know what you did right there like she gonna be like oh well i'm pretty like it wasn't the time bro it wasn't the time it wasn't the time like you everybody knows when it's not the time but at the same time i'm kind of maturing so i'm understanding that some people like their mental and their un their understanding of social cues really aren't all the way there so i'm like oh but at the same time it's like then it's like you know when people just talk and they consistently appear slow it's like ah. Oh, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. You see what I'm saying? But let's talk about... Oh, my God. Let me just skim through some. Let me just skim through some. Let me just skim through some. Oh, my God. I'm going to get in on everybody in this thing, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where this thing at? And Roly, when I see Roly BBL, I swear on my life, I turn my head to the side. Because I be like, what the fuck is going on? The songs they be playing in these shits, oh, I just have to fast forward, bro. Man, what the fuck is out of the fucking thing, man? Where is the fucking thing? Hold on, let me get the flipping fucking thing. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to skip to somewhere over here, right? Okay. Um, I don't like Roly, just big and nasty. You know, Roly didn't really do anything. Why are they playing like just play the thing? I can't even get to where I want to where I want to freaking get to, bro. Oh my god, Natalie's side profile is mad insane. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Okay, why are they playing? Anyways, we're just gonna talk, right? Oh my god. Oh. It's concerning. Oh my god. Okay, um we're gonna we're gonna like look look how the thing hurting me. Okay. Ooh, I wish it could just give me the person I'm looking for. Okay, we're going to call them. Okay, so let me break it down for the niggas now. So basically, some situation happened where I guess Krishan's sister and Krishan fell out. And then Krishan got some girls to jump her sister. And I'm like, yo, Krishan is not a human, bro. So I'm looking at these girls and they give off a vibe like whatever Krishan says, they're going to follow. And... With how quick they react and how slow they appear, I'm going to call them thing one and thing two. Because that was going on. And she got beat up so bad. 
she got beat up so bad. So we're gonna leave it there. Thing one and thing two, y'all weak, bro. I'm not jacking that, bro. What else I have to say? Um, oh, let me tell y'all who I don't like now. Let me really get into the who I just don't like. And let me tell y'all why. Where is this girl? Where, 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 where is this girl? Where, 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 where is the light-skinned girl that think that everybody hate her and she stay getting beat up? Oh, T. So, T, and I think this is what's, what's beautiful about analyzing people. T been appeared a little bit mentally off. Like, she just been appeared really off. Like, you could just see it. Like, from from she, from she just started speaking, I was like, I was squinting my eye on some shit. Is this a fucking virus fly? What the fuck a fly in the wind? Bro, so, so, and then it's like, T voice get me upset. I don't have a space to talk because I know that my voice get people upset because people don't think this is my real voice but her voice is like oh my god like t voice get me upset and the thing about t is my introduction to t as the first episode started rolling out was like you're not funny but then when she got into that um thing what was it with roly or biggie and she was like hey 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 <laughs> I, <laughs> I bursted out laughing i was like okay t like t's the type of person if she make 10 jokes you're gonna laugh at two of them Right? I don't think T is that funny. I think she tries hard. I think she tries hard. I feel like I could see through humor, but that's maybe just me and my sense of humor. I don't like very loud and that's not my sense of humor, so I'm not gonna be fond of that humor. See what I'm saying? But if that's her, it comes off like, you're not funny by yourself. You see me? Okay, so with her now, she gets into an altercation with, where is this girl? Oh my god, it's like it's like a fucking puzzle the way I'm looking at this low quality. Where is this other girl? Where what's her name? Where I can't even differentiate them. What was the girl? What was the girl? <laughs> this is Scotty? This is supposed to be Scotty on the picture. Wait, 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 wait. This is the girl that she first fought with? Wait, wait, wait. This No, them pictures, them pictures. Yo, them pitch yo, pictures are powerful, bro. Yo, pictures are powerful because Scotty don't look like that to me on the show. So Scotty had every reason to be upset at um T, right? She had every reason to be upset at T. Basically, they was in the bus. T was moving mad loud. Scotty was like, you don't gotta talk like that. I would have said the same thing too. Like, why are you talking like that? Mad loud. Like, I hate when people are in a space. And they're just trying to be the loudest voice. Like, can you? And there's a difference between exerting that energy of you you got that vibrance in the room and you're just loud spoken, but you know when somebody just doing too much. Then she's like, I didn't know, I didn't know. Then when niggas wanna fight you, you magically get sick. Bro, it's not the fucking yap, bro. You magically get sick. Stop, bro. Stop. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. So then what happened? The go-kart racing the next day, then they go, then What's my girl name? What's that girl? What's that other um Scarface? Scarface pull up now. Scarface was like how she was looking at her all day. Now this is something that I peeped about the show. I think some of this shit be cap, but who's to tell? Cause it is a reality show. But I'm feeling like they record everything. If you guys are in the van and there's certain interactions going on, why are we not seeing some videos of some situations when like Say, say T was giving Scarface the, the weird energy, right? Or say when when Biggie when Biggie had a problem with Miss Skinny Girl. What's Miss Skinny Girl name? Oh my god. When 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 Biggie had a problem no yeah, when Biggie had a problem with Miss Skinny Girl and Miss Skinny Girl was like, oh, she was in the V all day trying to act bigger than me, trying to act like I'm low, bro, trying to sun me type shit. Why we ain't see no video evidence of that? So it, it puts me in a situation like, did this really happen? Now they stay they stay scenes, not gonna lie. Okay, so we just we just gonna we just gonna act like everything is real and still I'ma still give my opinions with everything, right? So she can't even fight. Isn't that crazy? 
T can't even fight, but you're talking like you. you it, it's like, does she want? Like, do you want to be this light? And the thing that the thing that the thing that bothered me is like, T is going around, and whenever she has a situation with somebody, she's saying it's because I'm the prettiest girl here. Oh my God. I don't think T is the prettiest girl there. I still feel like Tzatziki is better than T. See what I'm saying? T, when I, bro, when I look at T Instagram, and then I look at her on baddies, I am appalled, bro. I am, DJ Sky, that's how you know I skipped her, because, what can you, Sky, it's like, I don't even want to speak about you, bro, because I don't know what Sky does. Like, Sky doesn't, Sky is just like, she comes off like she just there. <laughs> I'd rather dislike you than you just come off like you there. Like, what's going on? Oh my God. So, 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 it's like, I don't like that. Oh, they're hating on me because I'm the prettiest girl here. Like, who's the only cool girl I feel like is here? Um, Sky. This girl right here, I feel like she's mad cool. I feel like I, she just, she be peeping everything. She not going to say everything. She going to mind her business. She going to cool out. I feel like she valid. Like, she's a person I sit down and just chop it up with. See what I'm saying? Um, so what else? What else? So what else? What, what, what else happened? What else happened? When Saya left, I'm thinking Saya just in her towns. I know this is with the Saya because, you know, I don't know if that's true with her grandmother or not. But I'm like, yeah, you got that free ride. You're just leaving. That's how I felt. But that doesn't have to be the truth. That's just how I felt, right? Um, I ain't seen nothing a stunner girl. Roly, I really don't dislike Roly like that. I don't feel like Roly started with nobody from what I seen. But I feel like Roly is just like if you disrespect Roly, she gon' she gonna roll. She gonna roll on you. So that's what happens. Um Hi hi. Okay. Let's go back to this girl right here. I don't know. Um, boom, thank you. I appreciate you, bro. I don't know. I don't know. You said Rolly's annoying later? Okay, okay. So, Because I ain't finished it yet. Now, who else been getting me tight? Who else? Biggie, bro. Yo, is Biggie? Bro. <sighs> Yo, Biggie gets me actually tight. Because like, there's no way that's how Biggie moves. Y'all jack Biggie? Yeah, Jack Biggie. Yeah, Jack Biggie. What, bro? How y'all like Biggie? How y'all like Biggie? It's not even about. It's not even about. <laughs> Niggas said not too much on Biggie. Not too much on Biggie. <laughs> when I heard Biggie's voice, that was my face. <laughs> when I heard Biggie's voice, that's one like. Bro, I want yo. I'm gonna give y'all a joke that I only gave my friend friends. Imagine missionary with Biggie. All my guys, right? Okay, all my guys, right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yo. Oh, I forgot about that girl too. I'm gonna get on her too. I'm not even gonna violate Biggie's appearance. I'm just saying, imagine missionary with Biggie. Like, my guys. And then you, we talk about the missionary with Biggie, but then we talk about, uh, uh. <laughs> <coughs> um. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Biggie, like. Bro, she is a character, bro. <laughs> Biggie is a character, bro. Like, it's no way. Just the way she moved, bro. Like, she is a character. Like, Biggie give that one girl that, like... Oh, my. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save all my harsh jokes for Biggie because Biggie didn't do nothing for me to just black on her. I'm just going to make regular jokes that everybody will make in their mind, right? I'm foul. You laugh, though. Okay? That's the thing about humor. Not everything is right. Okay, so let's get into this girl. Why well, I ain't see her yet? 
Where's this? Where's this? The lady that look fake Mexican. What's that? What's her name? What's the? Oh, I'm about to get on her ass, bro. I'm about to get on her ass, bro. I'm about to get on her ass. Make the jokes about Roly. Roly didn't. Roly did. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I always confuse Roly and Biggie. I always confuse. Yo, when Roly and Biggie fought, it was like black sumo wrestling. And I don't know because size still matters. Size matters. I need to make a shirt. Size matters because I, even though they was both brawling, I don't know why Biggie thought she was gonna win. That yo and Roly flip. Oh my God! Let me get the fucking evidence. Yo, this show, yo, oh my guys, y'all have to watch this show, please, like, please, like, I think this is gonna be weak, like, please, like, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I need to watch this show, don't think because you a nigga, you're not supposed to watch this show, watch this show, let's start there, <laughs> so, I'm pre in the fight, like, nah, I'm like, I'm fake gonna give some props to Roly, because I didn't know Roly could, was even flexible to even pop out a kick like that, she really backed the fuck up. Like, so I'm like, okay. Then, then I really felt left out because I'm like, okay, Biggie, we understand that, you know, you that one, you basically that one Bronx Dominican that's going to come and speak in Spanish every three minutes. But like, at least, can you have a translator and come and say something while you're speaking so I don't feel left out, please? Now, this is debatable because up till now, we really didn't get into the tea of how she got bit. But who do y'all think, who do y'all, because Biggie, like, you, your arm's not getting up to your mouth, unless you mad hungry. Like, uh, no. Ro Roly ate her. Roly ate Biggie. She munched on her. <laughs> Ro bro. Bro, you really bit a person in a fight? Like, that's not crazy. Like, that would never leave. That would never leave. You know what I was thinking? Let's say, you know, I'm so tired. I'm like, yo, I'm fake already tall. Security guards don't do nothing. You think them niggas gotta go through some trial? I'm 6'5". Why don't I file an application to get on the security team that's sponsored by Zeus? Wouldn't that be amazing if y'all niggas just saw me in the back just school? <laughs> I'm laughing while I'm breaking up <laughs> Yo, but word to my mother, if I could do that, I would dead do it. Because what? I'm going around with them. I'm getting behind the scenes tea. I'm coming on stream telling tea. I'm cooling. I'm cooling. What, bro? That's a whole side quest, bro. That's mad fun. Like, I'll definitely do that shit, bro. Um... Okay, so yeah, they ate each other. Then, 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 let's get back to her. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Shut the fuck up. That's why niggas don't like you, T. Because you think you're the main character. You're not the main character. You're not the main character. You will never be the main character by trying to be the main character. Stop. Like, like, I just don't like that energy. Like, she always wants some slick shit. That's why you get beat up. That's why Miss um Scarface came around the corner. You seen how Scarface? Yo, she moved like a nigga. Yo, she moved like a nigga. Like she swooped around the corner like it was the back rooms. Tomb. I'm like, yo, she's on time. And at first, I was like, I was skeptical on Scarface because I was like. You just came. Like, what you mean T was giving you some eyes? But you know, I'm like, we don't have proof of that. But at the same time, coming now, she appears like she's cooling. Smiley. Oh my God, I'm about to done her up because I'm about to done her up. I'm about to done her up. Okay, so her BBL is crazy as fuck. Like every time I seen that BBL, my face scringed up like a scrunchie, bro. Why they can't even, they be saving people with these pictures because all you got to do is what? <laughs> Yo, because 
Not too much on Smiley. My peoples know her. Are you stepping for Smiley? No, let no, no, no I'm gonna look for your comment. Do do I'm talking to you. All right, not too much on Smiley now. My peoples know her. Okay, Miss Smiley Defender. Like <laughs> what, bro? This is a show. I can't talk about the show. Like what are you talking about? My peoples know her. Yo, Smiley. Smiley, you literally seen that she was mentally off from the first from the first moment she got on the show. Like, I don't know why people be trying to play it off. Like, you could see that Smiley is dead ass off, bro. Where wh what are the instances? First, was it that she got a tattoo or she got a henna and Natalie? You got a henna and Natalie none? How is that gonna look good? In what world can it look good? In what world can it look good? That's like Charleston White trying to make a song. It cannot sound good. Yo, like, this is the furthest I got up to with him right right, right as they beat, beat her up. Right? So, what else? Then Smiley, like, she come off so childish. Like, it's insane when you... Like, some adults really never an analyze their character, bro. Like, it's so sad. Because even when... And it's crazy how some girls would think. Because you're on Baddies East. Natalie and the rest of her, you know, the closer people that she's with, they're on a PG. You're beginning up like, hey, you guys don't feel a way that they're on a PG and we're not. Bitch, you just came. Wasn't you just begging to come? Wasn't she just begging to come popping up at everything? Like, you're not, are you, are you not at least grateful that you're on the show and that you have some rooms and that you're, you're a part of the show? Like, I'm really starting to think like, she has to be fully off. Like, no joke. She has to be off all the way and it's so sad because this is something i always said in my mind whenever i see reality shows whenever i get in instances with people in real life and it's it's time to reflect or really you know just have some 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 a workplace type of convo reality and life is not a film people don't understand the big picture like people will never just internally analyze themselves and be like i have wrong in this They'd rather just get shamed and leave people alone and continue to do the same things elsewhere. Like, you didn't see that you was wrong the whole time? Then, I don't know what led to, um, I don't know what led to, I don't know what led to Smiley stealing, what's her name? Her chain? She seems a little cool to me, see what I'm saying? But... Why are you selling people's chains and you're walking around the house with the chain? And then why she ain't saying nothing with the chain? And why, um, Miss Suki girl had to go take by that chain? And it's giving you not standing on business. But at the same time, they were saying she was bullying her. Um, bro, go back to the shade. What is going on? Bro, let me get my moment, bro. Like, I want to talk about what I want to talk about, bro. Like, can I, get, can, I, can I get my moment, bro? Lord have mercy, bro. I'm excited. I watched something. I want to talk with the girls about something. Like, can you easy, bro? Oh my God! You wanna sit down and watch the shade get girls? Do you get girls? When is the time? When, when is the last time you even smell some punani outside of your mother? Let me talk to you, no boy. Let me talk to you, no boy. Leave me alone, boy. Now, getting back. Oh my God! She got rocked again. E yo, e yo. Your kiddies think <laughs> your YouTube is funny. Oh, celebrity. Okay, so she deserved everything she got. You're just so easy to dislike. Like, I don't know what's going on with her. That's what you get. She should have just then 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 when everybody was outside behind the New York crib talking about some fight, she like she don't wanna fight. What you mean you don't wanna fight and you started everything like Bro, she is not a real person, bro. So, I'm going to leave that there, right? I don't think there's anything else I need to address because I don't think I got up that far. Yeah, it was literally there. Yeah, this is where I ended. So, I'm excited to see what happened, what goes... Oh, my God. Look at... Ima Ima Natalie Chin touching her face before her actual face. Oh, my God. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going on on that Jamaica trip. So, I'm going to get back to y'all. 
um, Jamaica me crazy, change that caption before I sue something. Sue something for uncomfortability and ta tangibility in our culture. What do you mean, Jamaica me crazy? Get that shit out of here. Z Zeus, I need a bag, bro. I need a bag for um mental health. What the fuck? <laughs> what they talking about Jamaica me crazy, bro? The people... Okay. <laughs> okay. Jamaica me crazy. Like, they... <laughs> Jay making me crazy like they played like they played in niggas face that's that's crazy okay so yeah i enjoy watching baddies i think the niggas should watch baddies too and like 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 look at that the first time i met oh the first time i met you i couldn't forget you they gonna have a caribbean baddies if they have a Caribbean Maddie's, I feel like people should that ass vouch for me to be in that. Because I think I'd be the per perfect person to just be in that. Or just play somebody fake boyfriend. But that person has to be very attractive. Because I don't want to be known as the BB the BBL attractor. Okay, um, so. Um. What do I, oh, did y'all see this video? Wait, they're actually having a Caribbean Maddie's? Bro, I'd be the perfect nigga to be on that shit, bro. What? Um, okay. What? What was the tea you had for us? Where do I want to start with that tea? I'll compile it in my mind. I'll say it after the, after these little videos I show you. Shensi and Spice hosting the auditions. Yo, niggas need to get me on that. What? I'm about to send a I'm about to send a voice note DM and make sure it's funny. I'm a re I'm a re I'm a rehearse my DM tonight. That's my objective. Y'all seen this video, bro? Karen wasn't having it. My car is damaged. Where? It's right here. If you want to see, you oh, can come over to shit. Why are you hitting my car? Because I'm not going to do that. You bitch. Would you tell her to get away from Poor me? Poor employee. Crazy? <laughs> it's not damaged. I mean, usually what you're supposed to do you're, you're in an accident yeah. is we exchange information. You bitch. Crazy bitch. Is driving away? This is so Rick and Morty like because. She's so lucky she fixed that V. Like, okay, you fixed the V, you get away. But this hug, like, this nigga just didn't... He didn't know what to do. Like, I don't know. This was funny, you know. This genuinely had me weak. This had me weak. I was dead ass. <laughs> Look at Pri. Why she hugged the guy like she was about to say, <laughs> we want our mommy. Oh, my God. Okay. Look at this guy. This is academics if he stayed in Jamaica. Because there's no way. And why his waistline dead low key hitting like? Why is it dead low key hitting like? <sighs> OJ got waistline? No. I mean, I have no waistline, bro. Um, I think I told that story like a thousand times. Uh, 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 oh, we didn't even speak about the Bob Marley movie. Do y'all want me to speak about that, bro? Or should I just leave that alone? Or should I just tell everybody who didn't watch it to just... To just... Turn your volume down for three minutes and get some food, bro. Turn your volume down and get some... some. So, I think, I think, I think I'm think i the perfect person to discuss this movie, bro. Like, I think that I'm the perfect person to discuss this movie. So, we're gonna discuss this movie. And I just say, just mute. And I'm gonna put my finger up. Or... I'm going to wave like this if you want another screen when I'm done. So, let's put it like this, right? I went into the movie with a person. Now, let's start here. I went to the theater. I was with somebody. When I was in there, the movie was going to start in 20, 30 minutes. So, I sit down and I got, before I walk in, you know, they'd be like, you know, like I got my ticket already. There's already the, the movie was already showing already with some people in there before it was about to show again because we didn't come on time. So, 
It's about to end in like 30 minutes. He's like, nah, you about to go in there. So we go in there. It's mad people. Like, we're basically in the front because there's so much people already in the back. This Indian lady come to me. She like, excuse me, um, your movie's not until 40 minutes, so you have to step out. And I'm with the body. Like, so everybody's looking at me, and I'm just like, miss, like, you can't hold it down, bro. Like, you're going to really make me do the walk of shame. Um, but, um, are you just, it's not your time. And a younger male, he comes back in and he's like, um, la let them rot, they good. And if you've seen the, 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 the racism on her face, and I just smiled at her. So when I walked in, I was basically at the point when they were at the table and there were suspicions of the, um, the, 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 the bun. You can say the bun, the cheating, whatever. And of course the accent fried me because I'm like, but, you know, I look at film from a different perspective because, you know, I had my classes for film and all that. So I'm like, okay, maybe they really didn't want the accent to be there so people outside of Jamaica are confused because at the end of the day, Bamar is an icon. So I'm like, let me look beyond the accent and see if I can appreciate the film. So the accent was getting me tight. Um, and then when I rewatched the film and I seen that it's basically about the exodus and the album, I'm like... This is just a pro this is just a promotional move like this nigga is a legend like we're not really getting like we're getting bits and pieces of him with his manager you know the bread situation and you know maybe the violence he was in but we're not getting the scenarios that built him into the the person that he was in terms of character and what led him to be that and what led him to be so respect respectable outside of his music because if you were to use that storyline it would have tied into the base you could have still put the album in at the end and it would have still got the same amount of sales but when i'm just looking at it it's like every every five minutes Ross Clark, the album exodus i'm like bro what's the point of this film i'm like then i'm like i'm i'm seeing other videos from people who know other family members and like people have unreleased films of bob people have unreleased recordings unreleased songs unreleased discussions like hours long you could have put that in the film people had a right so it's like why don't you just develop a more powerful story and there's a whole team behind this so it had to be no white man behind it to just push the sales or maybe it's just a family that one that thought that they could make the most bread by just promoting the album the whole time. And the movie was extremely short. It should have never been that short. That movie could have been a three and a half hour movie because it's a legend. Everybody, it don't care what the movie was about. Everybody was still going to watch it. So I really don't have a problem necessarily with them not finding somebody that's not Corley Jamaican. Because even though that nigga wasn't Jamaican, even though that nigga wasn't Jamaican, it's still like, I think he did exceptionally well for that role so i don't know bro i felt like they chose the wrong topic i felt like they were just money greedy and after i watched the um after i watched the movie i go on tiktok there's there's like three white hippie girls getting a million likes from listening to yg marley's song and they're just looking like dirty van drivers in their luxurious house with with bobby's carpets on their wall and they're just saying jam in jam in and it's getting a million likes i'm like is this my culture is like what's going on so i feel like that was i feel like I really don't have a problem with the accent or the people that played the role. I feel like it was really just the direction of the film. Like, you could have, like, we don't know who Bob is at the end of the day. And niggas went there to get more of an inside of Bob. And we don't know who Bob is. So, I'm not jacking that. That was lazy. And, and you could say time, like, time is, because that's one thing about a film. You never had to rush a film. She, they could have made this film seven, eight years down. It's still Bob Marley. Like, why did this, like, why is the, and the film being so short, it just lost me. Then let's talk about, oh, let's talk about Jamie being in this film, being the bad man. Yo, Jamie, yo, bruv, 30 big boys, bruv, stick to that, bruv, because, because, because when this nigga put out his accent, bro, I lost hope in this nigga, bro. When Jamie put out his accent, I'm like, yo, bro, you know you did bad. You know you did bad. You know you did bad. And I got the ick in that theater. <laughs> yo, I'm talking about Jamie from Top Boy. I'm like, yo, like, y'all played, bro.
Yeah, I definitely played. And you know, bro, I see that. And it could have been an upper. It could it could have been an opportunity thing because okay I understand some people are more agitated about the the roles and the actual people and it's like there's so much I, I seen this old nigga he was giving a perspective he was basically like there's so much people in Jamaica that look exactly like Bob Marley and all you would have to done is give them some film classes and they would have had that role and you could have given them more opportunities outside of that but hey people do what they want to do um. Jam Jamie's parents is Jamaica. I know Jamie's Jamaican, but it's like, okay, I have my accent. My accent isn't 100% there. I would still wanna, would never want to play that role. So it's like, I feel like if if you don't have an accent that can 100% switch, ease up, bro. Ease up, bro. But that's me. See what I'm saying? Like, that's me. I don't think I have anything else to say about that. Um, But let me see your comments before I switch to the next thing. I don't want to read your comments. <laughs> so should I spend your money and watch it for the people especially the people you know a little bit older I feel like you still should watch it to have healthy debates I feel like sometimes you could watch a film and you don't necessarily love the film but you could you could take your own perspective from it so I think everybody should still watch the film because I feel like a majority of y'all would still have the same perspective as me especially Caribbean people bro um Mm -mm -mm. The rest of his baby moms too. One of his sons should have played him. Uh 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 uh. uh. Okay okay. <laughs> Your mom said don't watch it cause it's BS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like yeah, gang. And the movie was just too short. Like why is that movie so short? Like that shit. No, bro. That movie was mad short. Yo, y'all seen Ty Lil, a little introduction for his stream? That shit was so unique and fire. Like, he can really act. I give him that. I feel like he should do that. What else do I have to see? Uh, ooh. Okay. Oh, this is a good topic to speak about. They rushed that film, bro. <laughs> this this shit had me weak. <laughs> And it's always a mad quick too. Like, what do you mean? What are we? Like, you're bold. Like, ooh, niggas is vibing. Plus, it's about to get warm. What you talking about? Um, let's continue. Um, <laughs> that meme is mad funny. Like, that's a meme that will always be funny. So, let's talk about this real quick. I always say this. If if you can meet a woman, yeah, and she, she can tell you after two weeks she loves you, she's a damaged woman, bro. But I, for me personally, I expect women to say that to me, though. Two weeks. Yeah, the reason being is because my vibe is so different. Bro, like, <laughs> like, why does this nigga sound like he in a high school bathroom talking about this shit in 11th grade? Like, what you mean your vibe is so different? Like, do niggas. Love is after two weeks. You know what love is? Why is he my vibe? No, you ain't that nigga. No one's that No one's that Or you're hurt as a man? Nah, somebody pin Miss Bellani comment because Miss Bellani, you need to respond to that. What do you mean, or you're hurt as a man? Explain. I need a paragraph right now. You talking about? You trying? No, nigga, no, no, no one is. No I'm one is. No one is. No one is. Love. I, I'm, bro, I'm uh, nigga. I'm in love with you. Okay. What, bro? Two weeks? Two weeks? You know how easy somebody can turn you off? And that shit. Just... How much time did you have the highest of feelings for somebody or even expectations? And everything's going so well. And they just do that one thing. Then you're like, I can never talk to this person again. What are you talking about? Two weeks? What is two weeks? What was that research? One of my friends did that. They had to do some some project in school. And it was like, how long does it take to really know somebody's character? Fully know somebody in and out. And on average, it was like, what? Minimum seven years? For you to truly know somebody? So. But hey, bro. That word is mad strong. After high school, that love you, love you shit. Going around this crazy, mad quick. Um, mm, 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 mm. this trend was getting me tight because I'm like, who do you feel like? Can I call you Rose? Call you like, do you know what that says about your character? A nigga go on TikTok. He like personally, I think I'm handsome. He's feeling confident in, in himself. He not feeling cocky. You over here side eyeing niggas. Who are you? Who are you? And then some girls feel like that's because they pretty like they can move however. Like that made me wish that you was ugly so I could roast you more. But it says a lot about your character. Cause how can a nigga come and come hype himself up a little on social media? That shit is kinda sad though when people just be wanting to tear everybody down real quick. Like, 
I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like that shit, bro. I don't like that shit at all, bro. It says a lot about you. I'm going to just show y'all some random shit before I get into what I really want to show y'all. Um, why this nigga was hitting that shit, bro? I was, I was appalled, like. One thing I realized about beats too, like you'll never find a beat like that on YouTube. 2015 ass beats. Um, this nigga too, like, that's how you know, like, some a voice is so powerful, cause you can't even laugh at this nigga. Like, I'm y'all ever see one of his videos? This nigga is mad talented, bro. I, I went, bro. I went down this. I'm gonna show you another video. I went down this nigga page at 2 a.m. I'm like, bro, what the fuck, bro? I need to show you the other one. Hold on. Oh, okay. This one. Oh. Every night you walk right in the trees. When I met the from the start. I'm the front and I'm the only one. Who was special in the heart. A girl is mine. Dark on the Bro, this nigga is mad talented, bro. I know she's mine. Oh, 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 oh. Because your gun gun is mine. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Paul McCartney. I don't understand the way you think. Saying that you just that mine. I think I think I brought up the question to you. I was like, do y'all ever feel like there's gonna be a bigger artist than Michael Jackson? And everybody was saying no. And I think we was also bringing up like what um what are the not the incentives but what are the other notions that give into that idea like why come once why someone can never be as big? But let me hear let me hear your opinions on that. Yes, no, yes, no. Before I insert my opinion. <laughs> OJ send me the cheap drip link nigga. Stop being weird. I'm not being weird, bro. Oh my god. Matter of fact, I'm going in my notes right now, right now, right now. Why are we discussing this? Text me right now on IG and I'll send you it right now. Let me see what y'all saying. MG got thousands of people fainting and falling at his concerts. Um, I don't think anybody, but what's the reasoning though? He's literally just a legend. Like, all of his songs are good. That's crazy. Like, for all of your songs to be good, bro, and everyone agrees on it, you know how hard that is, bro? That's so hard, bro. Like, that's pure talent, bro. I feel like the level of musical understanding Michael had can't be rep replicated. Okay, good perspective. That man had people fainting. His, his music had meaning. True. It's easy to please. No, but also... I want you guys to put into perspective that if people are already saying like before him when they were like big artists like there was it's almost like no one could say like it will never be a big artist like when I feel like when people are already placed on a pinnacle sometimes we have this instance of like no one will ever be as big and if we do have somebody that's just as talented we will just be like nigga no like you're not him um where did you get your girls from I got my girls from a place called underground girls um, didn't Drake pass in numbers wise? We talking about numbers. Ah, well, when I said bigger, I meant in every aspect. I, I didn't even, I didn't just mean in numbers. I meant like, I didn't just mean in numbers. His music is timeless and can be passed down for generations. I feel like, yes, because Michael Jackson was versatile to me everywhere. And he was singing since he was young. His music been streaming world, worldwide and his dance moves. Nobody at that time saw people dance like that for real. Yeah, that that is true. Is he? Yeah, 
ZG donated two three dollars. Um, I seen something with Plot Boy Max this year. I seen that stream though. OJ is the aura and the character of the individual. He's just pure talented and never was average, just exceptional. I feel like social media plays a big role into that because now people are more so followers and so I feel like people want more exclusivity when it comes to artists. Like, I feel like even if it was to be an artist that big, they could never be truly or heavily on social media. Like they, they would have to have this aspect of like, I don't want to say mysteriousness because I feel like a lot of artists are trying to replicate that. But I feel like an artist that talented would still have to have their own movement or they have like a distinct character, especially that derives from their own culture. See what I'm saying? But I definitely think it's possible. It doesn't have to be no time soon. But to say ever, like we're saying ever, like we're saying ever, maybe not in our lifetime, maybe not in the next generation. See what I'm saying? But I don't think it's ever. I don't think it's ever. I think there can be somebody that's more talented than him. Anyone's getting on stage dancing anymore. Background. Was a performer and had a way with everyone. Something good. Say in addition to the music. It was not only the fact he was Jackson 5. But the branch off that. Successful. And be successful is an accomplishment. His come up and duration of his career is such an amazing story. Yeah, I think Mike would have loved TikTok. <laughs> People would have roasted him bad. He probably would have. He, would, he probably would have turned his comments off. I think music ain't original anymore. Like comparing to growing up. I mean, we can't say that because we don't necessarily see. What was the opinion that I had on music the other day? And I felt like it's just vague in my mind right now. Damn. Like music not being original anymore. Like you gotta remember, like when it comes to mainstream music, we're pushed the sound. And I, I oh, this is the epiphany that I had in the shower the other day. I was like. We literally never get pushed positive music on a mainstream level. And that is so sad. Like, and when you really sit down and analyze that, that's the reason why that's the reason why maybe even like gospel rap or certain type of like anything that could be appeared as motivational, especially in our culture, kids will kind of like stray away from or just automatically think it's corny, even if it sounds good or like an artist will never be able to have. I won't say never be able, but it's harder for them to have a substantial career. But it's like, we're not pushed that. Because I was putting it into perspective, like, imagine if, like, all we heard from we were raised was positive black music. And that's all that we were put. They say not all we heard, but all that was pushed in, in, like, our phones or, like, in our areas or, like, on the radio when we grew up. Like, we would have a different perception of the music that we want to intake. So I was like, damn, bro. Yeah, we spoke about this before. That fast life is glorified. I feel like it has to do with accessibility. We are arts. We are, we are too included in celebrities every day. Life. MJ wasn't a celebrity. He was a superstar. Before middle school, my dad made me listen to all reggae. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Just crazy, as well. And I was just thinking about like, damn, like some people just. Some people be so quick to be on some shit like, oh, well, even the, the raising of children, like how people raise their kids. But it's just like, bro, no matter how much you want to raise your kids in a certain way, like it's really environment, your environment. Like you can't be like, oh, I want to raise my child this way. And then you don't have enough finances to put them in a specific school because at the end of the day, they're influenced. Like, bro, a kid's world is his school. Like, it's not you, bro. Like, I really didn't start appreciating or sinking in to what my parents had to say to me. Maybe, maybe till really late high school because you're a child like you don't understand what's going on like you don't care to understand what's going on everything's being spoon fed like so i feel like for people that be like oh i'm, I'm gonna make sure my child is gonna get raised in this way and under their dog like bro your child goes to ps123 like st stop talking bro like you live in the peace bro like there's only so much you can tr what is your child seeing on their way from home what you like what, like i don't know some people be yapping bro literally artists like pharrell and stuff the environment and influence is is more powerful than the inner influence from your parents. There is no one for kids to look up to no more. There is no more Justin Bieber boy band types. Just six year olds listening to sexy red. Yo, this is a perfect situation. Okay, now we're now we can have conversation. Now we can have conversation. So, did y'all see that video when them kids was in like a house? I I don't think it was a daycare. I think it was a house, and they was twerking, and they were like five. 
and they was all twerking and singing singing um sexy reds lyrics how do y'all feel about that how do y'all feel about that yo I'm, on, I'm 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 about to find a video right now yo i have some things to discuss like that's really crazy bro um every time i see every time i see krishan and that baby bro oh my lord um it's a mess what's the opinions on that what's the opinions on that people be laughing but realistically it's sad i feel like i chuckled initially and i had to grasp myself like bro that's sad like um then pick me one too raw slick it's it, it it's not even the kids because i don't even really think it's the kids like what, what it's not the kids fault bro like that's what they're hearing bro they don't want to feel they don't want to feel nice and, and get lit to the music how the babies find out about sexy but okay now like like okay i went to a ghetto daycare like even if my mom wasn't playing that music in the house like i was hearing that music in the daycare somewhere around or even after when somebody was getting picked up like bro we're just so easy like and it's crazy when you even look at trauma with kids like you could just be the perfect parent and they could have one instance of a traumatic moment and that shifts their personality and their character for the rest of their lives like i don't know game but when it comes to that bro people have different opinions like people are saying you know sexy red shouldn't be making that music but i don't think i look at things from that perspective because the reason that i always gave sexy red grace is because like you can see that sexy red is authentically hood girl like that's her that was her environment growing up so that's the music she can make now it's her decision if she wants to sit down and make more conscious music but if sexy red sits down and makes conscious music or or more positive mu music are people gonna listen to her in our generation no nobody's gonna listen to her so and at the end of the day to a degree i still believe that bro like that's your child like you control what's on your child's phone and 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 what your child sees and it's your responsibility as a parent so i think that's the the area i lead towards but if we all turn our eye and be like oh like i don't think society is gonna get to a better place until we're all like equally holding an expectation or a certain a certain level of like mannerisms amongst others and also for ourselves like because if everybody's just going against something and like oh well oh well she's sexy and i'm sexy and or if sexy says oh i'm sexy like control your kid and if drake says i'm drake control your kid it's just like everybody's gonna do the same thing but if we was to all be like yo bro like this shit has to get shut down from now like let's all make a community effort but it's like when it, when you look into finances and everything like people are never gonna care enough because there's financial problems like nobody's gonna care to sit down and come and make a movie and be like we have to stop this music if people are struggling to pay bills like and that's the problem bro imagine if you imagine if we really never had any financial burdens and we had more free times in our day outside of work bro what we could really get mad shit done um the oh the lady that let her daughter wax the pom pom my god yo she let her daughter wax them pom poms and you know i'm gonna be completely honest that's why i'm so happy i'm a person like i'll sit down and i'll really be so eager to learn from somebody else's perspective and that's why i feel like i'm always gonna grow to be a wiser person because i'm so eager to just listen to how people think and at first i was just like i didn't feel a way i seen it and i was like i didn't think of nothing about it. i'm like oh she's starting her early but is that appropriate but i scrolled i didn't get tight but i scrolled and when i seen it again a girl gave a perspective and she was like that's disgusting because at the end of the day we like to dismiss that we feel like just because it's girl on girl and it's not a boy doing something to a girl or other than that like there are still adult perverted women who enjoy things like that so it's not just oh i'm sitting down and i'm getting waxed why is a, a adult woman sitting down letting a little kid wax them so that put that put my thought into perspective like oh you have a very valid point like why is a grown woman allowing a little child to go wax their private parts see what i'm saying so i'm like okay i see that perspective but before you know i'll live in a woman's world so i'll just like is that appropriate i don't know but i scrolled now i don't agree with that but it's just like what mental state is that lady in and it's like even if you wanted the child to do that 
Start with the underarm. Start with the, 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 the little light mustache. Start with a little eyebrow. Start with something. It didn't have to be the twat. So I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that, bro. Like that child could have waited till she was at least 16, bro. 16, bro, I think that's valid to do, bro. Me don't know about that, bro. Um, taking the picture too, like, <laughs> e yo. E yo. Now let's talk about this. Oh, I think this is a healthy um discussion to have, but I don't want this to be a like, oh, and then the bait and what is off limits? Let me see what the ladies are saying. What is off limits? Oh, we never had this discussion because I just never wanted to be the corny podcast nigga, but I feel like I'm gonna take this discussion to a healthy level. So what is off limits for the girls for our first date? I want y'all to say everything. Like if y'all gonna take a while to make a little paragraph and read, make some bullet points for me, I'm gonna read everything this time. Then I'm gonna give my opinions. So what is off limits for our first date for you? And we gonna get into that. We gonna, we gonna, we, this is a, I'm liking these convos today. Your house, movies, I'm going to take notes of these right now. Hold on. I'm going to take notes of these right now. I'm going to take notes of these right now on Google Docs. <laughs> your house was the first comment. <laughs> hey, yo. Skin notes, you're tight, tight. The food court. The food court is mad crazy. <laughs> I never even heard that. Niggas taking out to the food court. Zoo. Okay, okay. I'm going to go down every day. I'm going to address every single thing today. What was the question today? What's off limits for the first date for y'all? Anything anything under $100. <laughs> okay, we're going to have a convo today. Um, The strip club. Isn't this adult life? Like, niggas is saying, let's go to the strip club for our first date, bro. I just despise clubs. I'm not gonna lie. That's not a genuine environment. My wife not in the club. Um. Oh, that party! I look so. Mm -hmm. McDonald's. <laughs> Yo, what experiences do you have? McDonald's, fast food restaurant. Hotel B and B. I guess I'm kissing. <laughs> Church. <laughs> Church. <laughs> the gym. Yo. Bowling. Hmm. School bathroom. Oh, you have experiences. Um. Somebody said Walmart. <laughs> Yo, y'all have experiences, bro. Um, party, party. The woods. Car wash. What are y'all? A what? Running errands. Um. Thrift store. <laughs> me fucking blood. Uh, 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 me fucking blood. Um. <laughs> I'm seeing some confusion. Um. Okay. Renty. <laughs> Renty. Yo, who said Renty? No, you need a bell, like. <laughs> yo, yo, who said Renty? You need a bell, cause you got it, like. Okay, okay, Delhi, LOL, Flatbush. <laughs> yo, okay, okay, Laundry Mat. Y'all saying whatever. Y'all saying whatever. Okay, I think that's about it. I think I think everybody said everything. So let's get into. Let's get into it now. So I'm going to say everything and I'm going to go one by one. So we got food court, house, movies, anything under $100, strip club, McDonald's, fast food restaurant, 
hotel, B&B, church, the gym, bowling, no coffee or ice cream date. Me fucking blood. Um, church, gym, bowling, Walmart, party, running errands, thrift store, Laurenti, Delhi, Flatbush. <laughs> Yo, no coffee, ice cream date. Um, okay, Benihana. Okay, Miss. Okay, Miss Boji. No Benihana. Um, okay, so let's start here. I'm gonna go one by one, and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get so food court. I'm gonna say what I agree with, what I disagree with, what perspectives I could see, what I can kind of understand. So, where what I, I mean, this is general. So, food court, I think that's mad crazy. I feel like. Now, I feel like this don't apply to high school because why is everybody in high school? It's crazy how some high schools will, high schoolers will feel like that. Like, bro, y'all don't have bread. Like, that's fine. Like, go, go, go wherever you can go. Go in the car. Go in. I'm going to give y'all some. I'm going to give y'all some good tea. I'm going to give y'all some good tea after. So, food court is mad crazy. That's the mall. I don't agree with that. A food court, like, what you doing, bro? Like, if you was a girl, would you want a nigga to take you to a food court? I started to put my perspective in other things. Like, if I was a girl, would I want a nigga to put to bring me to a food court? House, understood. Movies, understood. I even dislike movies as a first date outside of that because it's like, I can't even speak to you in the theater. Like, I can't speak to you in the theater. I'm not getting to know you in the theater. We're silent in the theater. Niggas clip their nails for the theater. You're not low, boy. <laughs> You're not low boy. You had that nail clipper boy. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, anything under a hundred dollars, I'm a save. I'm a save. Like the 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 the, the big ones, I'm a save. The unique ones, I'm a save. Strip club, like, is that even a date though? Like, is a strip club even a date? I don't think I'm gonna have a perspective on that. I think I'm gonna get back to that because I just I I don't be in the club like. I don't understand that setting truly. I don't know if that's a date setting, but some adults think differently. McDonald's, I think that's disrespectful. I think that's mad disrespectful. I don't agree with that. First date, that's not a date. Um, Fast food restaurant, I can understand that. I can understand that. I don't even really agree with that being a first date. I'm not gonna lie. Fast food, like we're talking about McDonald's, Burger King, Sonic, like I'm not gonna sit here and be like because that's not something i do for her for our first date so i'm gonna say no hotel that's not a date that's not a date bnb that's not a date like a date like a date like a, like oh, is this a crypt nigga trying to fuck you in a, in one of the smaller rooms because he didn't clap the bnb he just asked his man's for the low room with the with the bed near the ground church now at first, I used to be like, damn, like, at first, and I never asked a girl to go on a church date before, but at first, I used to be like, damn, like, where's this shit coming from? Like, y'all don't want to go to church. I'm like, wait, what's going on? But I have a, I have a girl that's like a devout Christian, a genuine girlfriend, and, you know, like, she's really out there with that, those are the men that comes in her DMs, and she's just like, even though I'm really a devoted Christian, like, I don't want a, a man to come to me and be like, let's go to church for a date. Or what's your favorite Bible verse? Like, no, like you can get to know me outside of that. And I still want to do regular things, just not sinful things. So I can understand that. She put into perspective that. So I can understand that, right? Um, The gym, no, the gym. What y'all niggas doing? But what are y'all niggas doing? Like, but like, that like that would get me tight too because what you mean like if you was a girl would you want a nigga to take you to a gym bro like let's keep it up bro like, i really be trying to see everybody's side like you wouldn't want a nigga to take you to a gym bro come on bro like and these are things that you can you guys can do once you're comfortable i feel like the the separation between i'm gonna save it for for after i'm gonna save everything for after bowling now i see there's mixed reviews on bowling well bowling bro I think Carnival is a fire date. I seen Carnival in the comments. I think Carnival is a fire date. Like, I think that's an amazing date. Especially because me, like, I'll do something like, okay, let's go to Carnival. Then 
Let's go back. Like, you go home. I go home. I get you. Then we go out to eat for real, for real after that. I think that's fire. Because it's like, carnival is a vibe. Like, that doesn't happen often. So, okay. We're bowling. There's mixed reviews. Now, I can see how, like, the bowling scene is kind of dying down. Because it's just like, that's the go-to now. And a lot of bowling places, like, where are the top bowling places in New York? Like, that one shit in Queens. Like, that shit not even valid for real. I could understand that, but... I think that's still very debatable because I think bowling is fun in their school. I feel like a lot of women wouldn't have a problem. I feel like all of y'all would agree to bowling if a nigga had an exclusive, like, five-star bowling place that everybody couldn't get into. I feel like it's a type of place. I feel like, you see what I'm saying? So, that's, I can see both sides with that. I'm not going to say no. I'm not going to say it's bad to do bowling. I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's bad to do bowling. But I feel like a location can definitely turn you off. Bowl 360, like, I can't understand. She's like, bro, this nigga took me to bowl 360. Like, <laughs> but it's like, I don't think a girl would say that if that place was really like a a, 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 a nice, valid place. Um, And some girls are different. Like, some girls aren't, like, some girls really want to battle you. Like, some girls will really enjoy that shit. Like, they wouldn't care. So, some girls are really with the activity. So, I'm not going to sit here and be like, that's a bad day. I'm not. But I understand. Walmart, yo, if you experience that, <laughs> you're gooch. Party. You know, I don't think a party is that bad. And and I truly don't think a party is that bad. Because there's so much dynamics of a party. It doesn't have to be a trench party. It could be a get-together type party. It could be a classy party. Like There's so much different types of party. There could be a party where she could bring her friends and dress up well as well. I think the right party can be so valid for our first date. You said this is terrible. A party is bad. Okay, that's your perspective. I'm giving my perspective. I'm not saying your perspective is wrong. But I don't feel like that's bad, depending on the party. I'm not... I'm going to a date with you. I'm not trying to be at the party. But you see, I'm putting it into perspective. I understand that. Okay, I've interacted with some girls that genuinely had some trauma. And they were like, oh, well, I'm interested in you. Uh, I experienced this and I experienced that. Is it okay if I have a friend or not? And this is a girl I've been actually interested in. And I said, okay, let's go here. Let's go in a public setting. You can have your friends and I'll sp speak to you momentarily. Me and Desi will talk about things like that. So you have to realize that everyone is different, bro. You can't just be like, yo, you're wrong because, oh, our, like, we're different. So people prefer different experiences. So I don't think that's, I don't think that's all the way off. And most of y'all, if a nigga said, oh, well, I have this Drake invite only party and it's a wine type party. And it's only going to be 30 people there and you can bring a plus one. Would you like to come with me? Y'all would go. So stop cap. Stop cap. Um, um, so yeah, I think it's the setting of the party. I think it depends on the person. But some party settings, like, what? imagine a nigga want to take you to a wet fit. Like, imagine a nigga want to take you to one of them Flatbush backyard parties. You have every reason to be upset. You have every reason to be... I think it's perspective, bro. I think it's really perspective, bro. So, I see museum. I'm going to put that at the end. Um, Running errands. That's not a date. That's just not a date. Um, Thrift store. It depends on the person. I'm not going to say that's my type of date. That's definitely not, not my type of date. You know, some of them people who are more, you know, on that side and, the, and they want to... You can't say that's a you can't say that's a bad date if somebody likes fashion or they really be getting into it or they have all the underground places in the city and they enjoy and they be going there in their free time. You can't say that's a bad date, bro. But to some people they're like, I'm not with that. Like that's not me. Like I want something more classy. That's fine. I don't feel like that's generally wrong though. I feel like it depends on the person because everybody not the same. Um somebody said Delhi. Yeah, you got it. Somebody said Flatbush. <laughs> Nigga's gonna take you to what's that? What's that new Caribbean spot on Utica? <laughs> Yo, what's that new Caribbean spot on Utica that blew up, bro? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Mm -mm -mm. It's a good thrift date. We're gonna listen where to go. I'm not gonna give you my sauce, but I'm gonna give you some 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 help after. Right? Okay, no coffee. I feel like coffee used to be like Coffee was so acceptable in, in like, my mom's time. Like, let's go get... But was that a date, though? Or was that just, let's go get a cup of coffee for me to get to know you? But it was like, even if a nigga was getting a, a cup of coffee after work to go get to know you, it's like, 
was he calling that a date? Like, I think a nigga could still go somewhere with you and it's like, that's not a date. So I don't think that's a date, but I don't think a lot of women were excluding that. Like, nigga, no. So we're in a time where you can't get no coffee. Like, there's mad white people that got more money than us that are willing to go get some coffee. So what's going on here? But at the end of the day, I still never said, let's go get some coffee. I don't even drink coffee. So I'm going to speak for me. Um, What about a walk in the park? Okay, um... I'm going to put that at the end. I'm going to go in order. Okay. Ice cream date. I feel like things like ice cream, like if you want to do an ice cream date, you can have other activities throughout the day. Like we can go here. We can go here. We can compile everything. Like wouldn't this be cooler? Wouldn't you feel like she'd appreciate this more if you said, like, okay, we're going to go. If this was more your vibe, like we're going to go thrift shopping then. We're going to go here if you wanted to go to this art gallery. And then after that, we're going to go get ice cream. And then after that, you might go to Top Golf. Like, that's a vibe. Like, that's a vibe for the day. Outside of just, oh, we're just going to get ice cream. So, that's how I put things into perspective. Because it's just like, are you just going to link up to get ice cream? Um, Somebody said museum. Personally, I just don't like museums. I feel like museums are mad boring. So I've never been on a museum date. But I don't feel like anything is wrong with a museum date because some girls really like that shit. Some girls will really sit there and memorize all that information and enjoy the vibe and want to do that research. So I feel like nothing is wrong with a museum date. It just depends on the person, bro. Like, people be so ready to just cut things off. Like, um, okay, walk in the park. I feel like every girl just be like, nigga, you're not taking me to no walk in the park. Like, I did that. <laughs> and I don't think I ever, no, I lied. I did when I was like, 17 i'm not wrong with that i was 17 but i feel like okay if you're gonna go take a walk in a park for a day one that's not really my vibe i'm not gonna lie but it depends on the girl so because some girl will have no problem with that but you can put more effort i think because that was the last comment i think the idea of everything is effort because what if you're like okay we're gonna have a picnic Nigga, you still having a walk in the park. You just put more effort. So it's like, I, I just think it's an effort thing, bro. I think it's an effort thing, bro. Like, niggas just like walking in the park. So this is my perspective with everything. If you're a teenager, especially, I don't feel like you got to keep up with all of this, bro. Because everybody be trying to act like they have money, bro. And that's not how it should be going. So I feel like if you're getting into your 20s and you want to seriously date, I feel like with us, our problems as niggas, I want to say our problems because I don't even necessarily say it's our problem. I feel like we're more skepti skeptical because we view things as, okay, niggas is not rich at this age, still saving our bread. We still have interest in this girl, but it's like, we don't want to go out all out for the y'all and we don't really know you. We don't really know if we jacking you. We're not trying to spend big boys to come impress you. And one thing that I do realize is despite what you want to say, you can all attest when you truly do like a nigga, he don't have to be up to as much standards or as, as as much requirements if you just truly like say you wanted that nigga you scoped out that nigga there's so much girls that be like oh I did it all nigga take me here nigga take me there but when you really like a nigga you the first one to be like oh nah like I want to bring him here or I want to give him this so it's like I feel like some niggas it really depends on the type of nigga you are um what else what else what else now I'm going to go, I'm, oh, I'm going to go back to this one now. Somebody said anything under $100. I feel like, lady, if you're classy and your life revolves around class and that's your actual, your actual life, even though $100 is really not that much, but it depends. Like, everybody really don't have it. Like, I feel like a nigga can, a nigga can do the picnic that's $40, $50 and it still feels like a great date. So it's like, it's effort, bro. Yeah, I'd be like, oh. Yeah, everybody be like, oh, I'm not spending bread on you on here and I'm getting not no, I'm not getting no expensive food. But you can find some nice, some nice sit down areas in the city where it's like your tab is not really going to go over seventy five, seventy eight dollars. So it's like, is that bad, bro, for a first date? If you could just find a low key space that still gives that area of like you could come and you could just chill. So I feel like niggas don't be doing any research like niggas don't be having the effort because. Not every place needs to be some three, four hundred dollar bill. Like you can find a valid place in the city, and a lot of women won't have no problems with that. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, okay, okay. 
so i think okay so as far as my advice bro i feel like me i don't even know if i want to give out all my sauce but i generally feel like there should be more effort implemented when it comes in if you have an interest in a girl and i feel like if you don't really have an interest in a girl and you're just trying to fuck like that's why you're gonna be more heavy off the dates because every nigga knows like as much as we be like oh i'm not spending no bread no bread on the bitch bro as soon as you truly like a girl you don't have no problem with spending your bread on her so let's let's keep it up bro when you really like a girl and like and it's mentally too like you're like nah every nigga comes up like this is how it works every now and then you'll come across a girl where she's so fine and she's so cool you can't even put her in a sexual perspective like your mind won't even uh, your mind won't even allow yourself to just view her like that and you you start doing some shit that you're not gonna post about so let's keep it about bro like stop the cat bro like it really depends on the girl for some niggas so and then you gotta remember like we always play into our cur current situation. So a lot of niggas say, well, I'm not spending no bread on a girl, but that's your mindset now. That's your age. That's your perspective. Nigga, if you're a wealthy nigga and real wealth, like, especially as Caribbean men, we love our ego stroke. We like to flex our ego and, and flex what we have and show that, you know, we can take care of things. If you are a millionaire, billionaire, bro, most of y'all niggas, y'all will start splurging on y'all for no reason, bro. Just because you can, just because it's not affecting you. So it's affecting niggas right now. That's why we're going to have the debates. But if it's not, bro, you're going to do it, bro. Because it just feels nice. It feels nice when you can just go get something da, 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 here, 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 here. So it's like, but I still don't agree with you giving a woman gifts to make her like you. That's something I don't agree with. I feel like that's classy things. If I give a girl something, it's because I want to give you something. It's not because I'm trying to make you like me. That's what I, that's what I think is very classy-ish. Like if you if you a wealthy nigga you wanna give give some niggas don't care like they just giving to be nice they just giving cause they like giving and nothing's wrong with that bro, but if you like oh now nah, I'm gonna give her this and I hope that she like me and I hope you know that the niggas that do that, the girl sees right through it because you already aren't confident enough in your personality and your character so it's like, nigga she just now you're gonna be saved as Mr. Bread Mr. Apple Pay and that's gonna be you game. And it's so sad because I'm so happy I'm more like... And you know, this is why I dislike social media. And I feel like sometimes we just have to get off of social media. Let me talk to all my handsome niggas real quick. Like, nigga, you know you handsome, but you might not have no followers on social media. And say you DM a girl and she never responds to you. Or she follow you and she play with you. But as soon as you outside, she's on your dick. She's on your dick. As soon as she speaks to you outside or even outside of handsome niggas, niggas with a true good character or true good charisma, like, you know how to hold a conversation. Any girl you could talk to outside, anybody you could talk to outside, you just draw that good attention around them. Now she want to hit you. Me fucking blood, the demons are aggravated because I'm speaking the truth. How she want to not, bro, it's like social media not real, bro. And one thing I realized, I love I love speaking to women. Where my shit at? No, the demon took this. The demon took it. Oh. <coughs> him, 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 him. <laughs> Yo, like, social media not real. Y'all gotta remember that. Like, and you gotta remember, like, most of these girls, like, you thinking over with followers, like, Let me tell you something. This is when I realized I never really want no girl with, that's that's just heavy into social media. I remember one time I went somewhere, I was with Sammy, and I was talking to some girl, and I was just trying to joke with them. But they was pretty girls. And they was looking at the niggas with the, um, like some niggas pull up, like heavy Cubans, all that. And I made a joke with her, with her friend, and she was laughing. And I spoke to her, and she looked up and down at me, and she looked at her, and she went in her phone, and she went in her IG. And when she went in her IG DMs and she was scrolling, like coming off like she's ignoring me. First of all, I don't even know if that's really you ignoring me because I won't speak more than once once you get silent. I have internal shame and composure. So I'm not gonna reach out. She looks at her IG. She starts swiping up. She's swiping up. All the messages are great and already open. And all the messages are from like four weeks ago. And I'm like, 
you trying to act so cool. You trying to act so busy. And I'm like, this is the corniest setting ever. And guess where I seen that at? When I was at the club, bro. One of my first times at the club. And I was like, that's so corny. Like, And then something I realized too, like, I remember one time I was with this IG girl. Like, this was some girl I wanted. Like, bro, I, I wanted this girl so bad. And I felt like I literally manifested her because she DM'd me. And I wanted her before, like, she even knew of me. And I was like, when she DM'd me, I was like, there's no way this is real. So, I was in the A, and then I linked up with her. And she was cool, like, and I think, <laughs> we wasn't talking before that. And I just sent her, I sent her a voice note. I was like, I'm gonna be in the A, oh, if you wanna hang out, let me know, let me know, I don't know, whatever. So, we went on a date that day. And, Right before, I can't even say, I can't even say too much. I got to stop myself, stop myself. Right before I picked her up, when she came outside, she took a while. When she came outside, I was cool and I didn't even care. I'm like, yo, Maddie's always going to take a while. That's whatever. She come outside and like, as soon as she come outside, I just, I'm just myself. I'm feeling good. I'm in the A. I'm joking. I'm laughing. Like, it's vibes. I'm authentic, I'm authentic OG, like I, how I am on stream when I'm with Sammy, just joking. Same way. And this girl just start like laughing, like feeling mad comfortable. Like this girl start acting like she in high school or some shit, like laughing, like slippers flopping, like laughing, like walking on across, like just a week. And then she hit me with like, I ain't gonna lie, I thought she was corny. Like I was just expecting for you to be corny because that's how niggas be like, and niggas be feeling themselves. So I'm like, okay. So I mess with her. Um. Now I'm dropping her the next day. And we, we, I think I, I'm in the view with her and I say some shit like, well, I said, I'm like, I'm joking with her. I'm like, yo, who you feel like? You know how I just be like, yo, what you feel like? Who you feel like? Or you feel like you feel like you, you feel like you, you're big and bite, you feel like all that, like, but she knows I'm clearly joking and she gives me the ick, bro. She goes and she says, boy. I got 130k on the gram like plus i'm verified do you know who i am like i'm all that are you are you crazy and when she like when somebody mentions their social media bro my body it like it gets into a state of shock because i'm like is this your cool points then the side eye i gave her <laughs> bro the side eye i gave her i'm she just knew like you know when you just in a place with somebody and they just know like you're never gonna see me again like it's impossible it's impossible like you and i'm just like bro bro social media it's it is so that's why i love my thing this is how i improve my risk because you know i'm getting to a point where not even on no you know being cocky like i could get a pretty girl from them already knowing me or have an idea who I am. But my risk is I'm still Jamaican. I'd rather go talk to a girl who has no idea of me and I'm trying to still, you know, go get at that, go get, improve my confidence and, you know, go get better at my social skills. I prefer that. And it be, and I realize that the coolest girls I talk to when I be outside are the girls that like, they just really don't be on social media like that. They just be outside doing their own thing, having their own excursions. So, I prefer that. I'm not going to lie. Then, the amount of times, bro, like, I'll DM a girl. She won't even respond to me same day. She respond to me, like, a couple days later. And as soon as I DM her the same minute, she'll post it in her close friends. Then a nigga in her close friends that I watch my stream or something or just know me, he'll send me back the screenshot and be like, she a bird, bro. Don't, don't fuck with her. And I just be like, I love you. Then three days later, oh, thank you. Like, what's up with that corny shit, bro? I just don't understand. People who can hold a vibe. Um, tomatoes. Looking at you disgusting. Niggas do not give a blood cleat. Blood cleat. Trying to act like I don't matter. Like I, And you know what be, what be so disrespectful? Like, I'm so happy I never experienced this, but I be feeling bad for niggas. Like, imagine you really like a girl, and she don't even know if you got the bread like that. And you save up, you take her on a nice date. And you take her on a nice date, and she on her phone. Bro, I'm so grateful I never experienced that. Because the way, the anger I would get. 
Bro, how could you just be on your phone? Like, that's mad disrespectful, bro. That's mad disrespectful, bro. That's mad disrespectful, bro. That's mad disrespectful, bro. I'm not joking that at all. People can't even tell you tell that ass but they're in spirit of a Jezebel. I'll be collecting my main phone. I don't even play like that. I get the fuck out of here. I'm spending time with somebody. I put the phone down. That's mad disrespectful, bro. But yeah, I feel like just interacting with people in real life is always going to be cooler, bro. You got to remember, like, some people... You got to put it into perspective like this, but I might, I might have us react to something. Some people, like, as much as, like, they'll never say it, but look at somebody's screen time. How much hours you have in your day? And your screen time on social media is six plus hours, like... Social media is one of your realities, bro. Like, you got to put it that way. Okay, so y'all jacking this? Let me know if y'all jacking this. Social media has allowed people to drop someone so easy and so quick thinking they're going to find someone. Bro, and I seen somebody make a video on TikTok and it gave me another perspective. It was like, bro, everybody thinks they have these options when these options are not real. You having these followers and you having these people DM you, but it's like, say you lost your, say phones, say Instagram just got dunned up today. You can never see that person. That person don't exist. Like, that, that, that Nicole down the block that you dumb and exist. So, I was like, okay, that's a good perspective. I agree with that. Um, Did you see the guy that, what, yo, can't, send me that link. Because now I'm going to actually watch it. Because Every time I seen that video of this nigga looking like a slow hood nigga, I scroll past because my body cringed. The nigga talking about some, he sent his wife blue hearts. Send me that video, please. Send me that video, please, because now I'm going to actually react. I never finished it. I just, I seen the little um, captions, but I'm like, bro, there's no way this nigga said that, so I just scroll past it. OJ, imagine one time I was at a restaurant when I was 17. A random older gal was like violating me. When I was ordering ordering food, I was a youngin. Damn, Brody. Um, bro was talking so crazy. If you can send me the link, send me the link, please. You seen thirty big boys? Thirty big boys. Um, yo, let's talk about this real quick. I don't know if this is real, but if this is real. <laughs> I don't know if this is real. This don't look that real, but <laughs> even if it's not real, this is a little um, interesting. Nicki Minaj presents Pink Friday to World, World Tour, <laughs> Oakland, California. Disclaimer, please be advised that in accordance with California state regulations, we are obligated to disclose the presence of a level three sex offender backstage, Mr. Kenneth Petty will be present. Attendees under the age of 18 must be accompanied by an adult aged 18 or older. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yo, like... And you know what's so crazy? I'm kind of, like, glad sometimes that I have a smaller platform and I could say whatever. Because it's just, like... Imagine... Like, when you're just at such a big platform, you could just, you like, you're saying something and you're saying what everybody's thinking, but it's just like, you can lose connections that way. And it's like, yo, Nikki really out here wilding with that offender, bro. And you know, every time I see Nikki, I knew Nikki was really awesome when she did that twerk with the pink thing on and she was twerking fake off the couch on the ground looking at the camera. And I'm like, this is giving me like auntie back home. And I was like, Nikki, I think it's time to settle down. I was like, no. Like, Nikki, like, Nikki, you gotta understand. I seen a post, I was like, Nikki doesn't realize that you're Nikki. Like, cool out. Like, you can be in your Beyonce vibe. You can be on your Riri vibe. Like, you're Nikki. Like, cool. Ice. And I don't know. I feel like she be feeling like she gotta keep up. And it's like, you got like, come on, bro. Um, where is this shit at? Oh, and I seen some posts. It was like, Nikki is so immature and childish. I see why 
her husband married her or got with her. And I was like, oh my God. She ate that one up so bad. Like, oh my God. And that was after the whole situation. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, she dunned her up. And you know Nikki Sinashe and she couldn't even comment. <laughs> Nikki, you don't want to comment on nothing related to her husband. Like, you be on TikTok, bro. Like, you see them comments, bro. Like, stop the cap, bro. <laughs> you be at home. Like, you be seeing them TikToks. <laughs> like, um, what what's up with matter these pastors coming out as benders? Uh, these pastors be undercover benders. Um, Yeah, I had seen that shit with Scarlett when she was like, she fucked somebody and she was like, you did bad, bro. You, you didn't complete that mission, bro. <laughs> Yo, Scarlett is mad funny. Okay. Oh, I'm just gonna get into regular things I had saved since I wasn't streaming in a while. Have you ever been swallowed up? Okay, a girl is going viral after a man sent her $15 for lunch, but she thought it wasn't enough and sent it back. Yo, <laughs> because it isn't. I'm gonna look at things like, okay, why are you sending fifteen dollars? You see, what I'm saying like, is fifteen dollars really gonna do something? But I'm putting it into perspective again. Like, say they work at the same place, and he know that she be getting food down in in the same plaza or in the same area, and it be around twelve, thirteen dollars, or like she go to a food truck, and he just like today I'm just giving you fifteen dollars. But maybe that, most likely that's not the case, but I'm not sending $15. But it's like, uh, I don't know, gang, like, everybody feel how they feel. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, where is this one video, bro? It's getting me hungry. Okay, did y'all see that thing? Where Desi Banks said basically that his ex broke up with him because she didn't believe in him when he was making um his skits and his comedy before he blew up. Do you, does anybody have a perspective on that? What are you what are you eating though? All you can eat for forty five. Fast food don't cost more than fifteen dollars. There's a respectful way to go about it. Fries and soda all you can get. But if I'm sending a girl bread for lunch, like, and regular lunch, like, I'm going to send her, like, 30 35 That's me, though. I don't think you should be... I don't think you should be sending over 40 if it's, like, a regular lunch. Unless you just want to send, send to just send. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm, he ain't have to give her shit. That's a perspective, too. He ain't have to give her anything. Um, gotta work while chasing the dreams. I feel like when somebody leave during a come up, they just not meant to be. Um, yeah, I don't see the vision. My perspective on that is you should never judge for the short term. You should think of the long term and loyalty. Also, did he work during the skits? Anything over 25 is crazy. I don't know if I get situations like that because of how long I got away. Depends. Was his girl holding him down though? React to who did I marry? And I remember I'm a nigga, bro. Like, I couldn't sit down and watch all that. <laughs> I couldn't sit down and watch all that. I could watch two parts with y'all now, but I I I'll watch a little one two parts with y'all now if y'all wanted to. But if y'all already watched that, I don't feel like it makes sense for for me to watch that. Only if y'all wanted me to think it. I mean, I don't blame her because going viral is really a one in a billion chance, and he ain't have no job. I don't think she was being rude, but she was was being realistic. She was not thinking about the long term. She was not the one for him. Go to Taco Bell and go crazy with that fifteen. <laughs> he, I'm on part 41. I finished it today. All right, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna show a perspective I seen. Right, Desi Banks says his ex, his ex broke up with him because she didn't believe in him. He also didn't have a job, and she was taking care of him. This is what we call delusional. To me, she did believe in him. That's why she took care of him for a while. But everyone has a breaking point. How could you imagine working all day and coming home to see your man and his friends making skits for Instagram? She got tired of taking care of a grown man. We really gotta stop trying to spin the narrative on, on some 
nobody was there for me you were a, you were a bum at one point and now you're on your shit two things can be true and i agree with that perspective i really do agree with that perspective i'm not gonna lie i do agree with that perspective um and it's like i could just understand how both parties feel i'm not gonna lie and i see women saying he could have job he could have got a job as well and i seen this perspective of him saying well, I was going on and I couldn't have got a job. Like, my ideas flow throughout the day and I did that, I did that. And I see that perspective too. I do. But at the end of the day, when you're real, I have, I have never been in that situation. But it's like, I view things as like if you're an adult, you got to get things done how you can get them done. And I feel like if you're a true adult, like, you can get a job while doing other things. But I can sort of see your perspective of saying, well, I have to put all my, in, my, my whole, my whole effort in and he didn't it work but the reality is it's a one in 100 it doesn't work for everybody but it's a we never look at the artists or the, the unsuccessful artists the unsuccessful um comedians or streamers or whoever you want to call it like that just never get to where they want to go because at the end of the day it's still percentage based like it's very hard very very hard um I would eat, but after you take a drink, eat. My, oh nah, I mean you saying that, bro. But like niggas not laughing. See, this is not the chat. This is not the chat for that, bro. See, I'm saying niggas not gonna laugh. So I don't know if you feel good, bro. Oh, oh that party, I look so. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, Jack and reacting to this. Let me know about this. <laughs> nigga didn't even. Nigga didn't even comment again. Like that's how you know nigga felt bad. Like bro. This is not, this is not, this is not a little boy thing, bro. Bingo girl. Hello. Welcome in. What's Thank your you. name? Talisha. What was that? Talisha. Talisha, how old are you? 23. 23. And what do you do? I'm in the military. You're in the military. Okay, nice. Which branch? Air Force. Air Force. Nice. And so what do you look for in a guy? <laughs> uh, someone who has like personal and career goals. Okay. Family oriented. Nice. You know, okay. a handyman. A handyman. All right, cool, cool. So we did get a few balloons pop. Let's go ahead and go over to some of these guys, see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had an idea. Yeah, I just love to watch this shit. Bro. Let's start right on over here. Uh, if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Chris Davion. I'm 24. You're actually very beautiful, by the way, and you got a nice body. Um, you may have some melanin in you because of hair, but I need someone that. I could like darker complexion, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you, you're very beautiful. That's what was the only reason I popped. Okay, so she's too light skinned. Too light. <laughs> too light. <laughs> Period. <I'm scared. laughs> okay, all right. And now, is he your type? Absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> Speak your mind. What's um, going on? What's it, what? The physical attraction is not there. Okay. Preference. <laughs> And is it the height? Is it like like what is it about him? Face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the face. Uh -huh. The face. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Who is Let's go on to this next. nigga? Look mad Haitian. <laughs> no, that's it. Nah, that's not even glaze. You know he look Haitian. Don't even be like I'm glazing y'all right now. This nigga look mad Haitian. What the? <laughs> the glasses got it right. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> Let's go on to our next guy here. We can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Isaac. I'm 27. I pop my balloon because I like my woman a little darker, but you're still very beautiful. Period. Yeah. I understand that. Got your nails done, your toes done. <laughs> I like the outfit too. Thanks. So, yeah. Okay, and now is Isaac so, uh, someone that's your type? No. Okay, okay. If she says he's bald, she dead wrong. Cause I think that's just just be off limits. You don't know how that can hurt a nigga's score. Okay, why not? Head shape. <laughs> Yo, you are you, you know what you you know how you style you know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay. No, I gotta watch this. So, bro. what's wrong with his head shape? <laughs> the square. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Isaac, do you get that often? Nah. No. Okay. Nigga, don't <laughs> lie. <laughs> Period. Yo, okay, she's okay. an instigator, like. Oh, oh, oh. And now, so far, we've had two people say you too light skinned. Like, has that, does that happen to you often? For sure. Really? For sure. It'd be like that. Oh, okay. I would definitely turn Nick down if he was too light skinned, too. So I can't really be mad. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I can't really be mad. It is right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Let's move on to our next guy over here. If we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Ja. I'm 31. And. I think you're cool. I, I like the complexion. I like the quality of your tattoos. I like your body as well. Um, but for me, I feel like it's got to be something that I'm really like drawn to when I see you. And I feel like we would be cool, but more so on like a personal like friendship type level. Like you seem like you got an interesting personality. I feel it. Yeah. Okay. And now, is if Jaw were to approach you, would you go for that? Sure. Okay. And what, what makes you say sure about him? He look cool. Thank you. You look cool too. <laughs> I, no, I, I like the fit too. The colors it. is working Thank as you. well. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Thank you. Yo, let me tell y'all something real quick. Speaking about Tasiki. Tasiki is so fine. That's one. Two. I had a dream. I had. Okay, and if we get. I had the weirdest dream yesterday afternoon. I had a dream. That I was in like an infinity pool. That No, that happened after. I had a dream that Tzatziki was... I was in the baddie bus with Tzatziki. And we was flirting about something. And then I left. And then somehow the dream shifted into like... Fortnite. Just listen. This sounds mad crazy. It shifted, it shifted into like Fortnite. And one house... Before you went into that deep end in the low in the low in the little trees down in, in the middle of the map. That one blue house that be outside. You yeah, niggas that yeah know what I'm talking about. I was in that one blue house that that be outside to the curb. Then she was on that couch in the blue house down there. And we got into some like ruckus. Like cause I wasn't giving her attention. Like I was like, oh I'ma go spin. Like I'ma go spin. So I went down, I shot some niggas down in the bush, I came back up. Why I see some dark skinned nigga drilling this to seek you, bro? <laughs> so then I get mad hurt. I wake up mad agitated. I'm like, yo, like, like, and she, she getting drilled on the couch exactly like how she be laying on the body bus. I'm like, yo, like, like, I wake up tight, but I'm realizing, I'm like, yo, I put my head back in the pillow. I put my head back in the pillow. Word to my mother. I'm in a dream now. I'm in this like infinity pool. And it's like, it's almost like a rect, a big rectangle. Then it's getting into like a, a rectangle U of the infinity pool. Then between there's just like some open space, some little like natural plant. There's a big view or like some space view. I'm with Connie in a pool, but me and Connie are not flirting. We're just talking, chatting it up. Aiden come and Aiden is like, what you doing? Like on some gay shit. <laughs> And then Aiden trying to troll, and then he like, come follow me to the kick room. But he's walking bare body, just turning around, looking at me bare body, and me and Connie just laughing at this nigga. And I'm like, I just don't know how I had that dream. I just had to tell y'all, because I'm like, I barely have weird, weird, weird dreams. And I was like, okay, that's, that's, that's insane. But, nah, to see you getting, getting done up in my dreams, that really hurt my feelings. I'm not gonna lie. That did hurt my feelings. Um, <laughs> somebody said he on my body. Aiden could never, could not even close to my body. Okay, so let's watch this video. Question. Oh, they're giving me fucking ads. Oh no, that cannot happen. No, I'm gonna have to switch a browser. Because why do they wanna play? Saw my uncle backing a man in my dream. Me not know about that. <laughs> yeah, hi. I don't know about that one, brother. Oh, oh, you want to wait? Let me get my ad block. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get my ad block. 
let me get my ad block let me get my ad block let me uh, put on my fucking ad block you already fucking mine you can't you can't use ad block on youtube no more oh well maybe i'm downloading a virus right now because it says installing um well let's try again It works for me. It's always an it works for me. Did you give the sauce? Oh. Oh, I don't have my ad block. Thank you. Just use Brave. I'm not using that Android browser, Brave. I keep talking about some Brave. Body can't come into my crib talk about CSAS. Brave. She gonna think niggas is. I can't even make a joke. Brave. I ain't using that shit. Skin out your tight. Bro, this look like Sammy Mechanic. Oh my god. Is it bad? Is it bad that like, I don't truly see myself dressing this stereotypically classy? Like, when I see myself dressing classy, I see myself dressing like, when I'm a bit older, like Pharrell classy. You see what I'm saying? Like Pharrell, Tyler, the creator classy. But not this classy. This classy just give like, I am, I'm not giving in to age. I don't know, but that's me though. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette. We are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love and we do have a lineup of some single men. Make some noise guys. <laughs> All right, so I am going to be bringing out a group of single ladies. They're going to come out one by one. So when they come out, if you're feeling them, you like what you see, they're your type. Do not pop your balloon. However, if, you know, once you start hearing her talk or when she comes out, you don't like the outfit, the hair, whatever it may be, go ahead and pop your balloon. And I'm going to go over to a few of you so we can go ahead and get down to the knee. Hey, let's uh Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Shauna Gay. Shauna? Yes. All right, Shauna, <laughs> welcome. How old are you? I'm 24. 24, and what do you do? I'm a software engineer. Software engineer, nice. Okay, and so Shauna, what do you look for in a guy? Um, I'm looking for someone with a well-rounded personality, caring, outgoing, um, funny, adventurous, mm -hmm. and as well as like emotional intelligence is really important to me. Yeah. And then also personal style, nice. like a look good fit. Okay, okay, that's good. And so like, what do you do for fun? What do you enjoy doing? Um, what do I do for fun? I'm really big on dancing. That's kind of my hobby, extracurricular. I'd like to dance. Mm -hmm. um, as well as like community service i'm in sorority so we do stuff like that oh, nice okay yeah. okay perfect well girl look at this none of the guys have popped their balloon mm -hmm. okay uh, <laughs> they are liking what they are seeing <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go ahead and switch it on over to you okay terrence if i can thank you sir okay i'm gonna have you hold that so i'm gonna first have you go ahead and eliminate one guy just strictly based off of what you're seeing so far and i'm okay. gonna just follow you wherever you go okay <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry it's just height but you're oh. very handsome and i like your outfit okay all right and if you want to go ahead and let her know your name and how old you are my name is terrence i'm 34 and i'm from alabama and you look gorgeous thank jeez you. i like everything about you thank so, you thank yeah. you okay i be feeling bad for my short niggas bro because it's like what can you do bro that's the one thing in life like I don't be feeling good for you. And Terrence, you say you like everything about her. Is there anything that's standing out? Like, what made you not want to pop your balloon? 
Yeah, I like the pants and the shirt. Thank she can you. dress. I like the toes. And she got cute smiles. You know, smile. white toes, white toes. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I would definitely you. say you definitely gorgeous. Okay, okay. And you said for you. What's up with this nigga? I would Thank definitely you. say you definitely gorgeous. <laughs> I'ma buy you ice, mama. I'ma buy you curry, mama. Look at this nigga, bro. This nigga, this nigga look like. Who are you popping this fine ass lady, bro? Looking like you belong in the roti shop, bro. I'm about to get on this nigga, bro. What's up with this nigga? <sighs> I just be so confused. I just be so confused. Okay, okay. And you said for you it was what? It was the height? Yeah, it's just the height. You're very handsome. Okay. All right. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go right on over here. And if we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Ishmael and I'm 29. Okay. And Ishmael, what do you do? Uh, I'm a model, I'm an artist, uh, I'm working on being an actress, an author as well, but my not Actress? Me! Back out! Where's my lighter? Actress? Where's my lighter? That can't go on. Me fucking blood! Me fucking blood! Everything mash up! The wires caught me! Actress! Yo, bro, where's my lighter? I need my lighter beside me, bro. Because that's not going in today, bro. Actress. <laughs> Yo. No, with this type of video, we need, we need double defense. Double defense. Double defense for the double bending. Because that's not going in. I don't want to be an actress. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I'm gonna follow my fork with my Look how this nigga smiling! <laughs> but right here, yeah. And why did you end up popping your balloon for Shauna? I'm not gonna lie, you you are very beautiful. Like everything that you said is like matches my personality. But I honestly think it's a height thing too. Like you kind of like you're beautiful, but it's just like I don't know why he laughing, bro. You see. <sighs> I don't know, we kind of like them with the same height with heels on. Them. Like, like, you know? I but you're beautiful though, you're beautiful. Thank you. Thank so that's you. it, that's it. Okay. And now, uh, Shauna, is he your type? I like your style, I like your hair. Thank yes, you, but it you. is the height as well. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. And how tall are you, if I may ask? I'm six feet. Yeah, see, I'm oh. like five, ten. Okay. It's a good height though. But it's great, but yeah, you know, you, know, you look good though. Yeah. Especially, you know, I know they like rocking heels too, so you yes, know. Yes, heels girl for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, and so for you, you said it was just the height. Anything else? Yes. Oh. Just the height. Okay, cool. Thank you. And now, so we do have. Yo, I feel like I could. I would have never thought she was six feet because I feel like you rarely see like tall women like really six feet plus, and their body be so proportionate. Like that's so. Oh my god, I would have been on her bad. Bro. Some five guys left. Okay. So, based off of these five guys left, did you have a question you wanted to ask them to kind of help us narrow it down? Yes. All right, go um, for it. Do any of you have kids? All right, so we'll... You have one kid? Two? Okay. Okay, one second. So, we'll go down and I'll go ahead and okay. get to each of them. Um, so, let's go down to him because okay. he said he has some kids. <laughs> All right, sir. So, if we could have your name and how old you are. <laughs> Daryl, 33. And Daryl, what do you do? Manager at a warehouse. Okay. North side poppy. And you said you have how many kids? Two. Two kids. Okay. Oh, that's cute. And so, Shauna, is that a deal breaker for you? or? Yes. It doesn't have to be, but yes, it is kind of a deal breaker. Yes. Oh and so, um, why did you end up leaving your balloon unpopped for Shauna? Oh, she looked good. Yeah? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, I know you said that's a deal breaker for you. Yes. So, are you popping his balloon? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we do have four guys left. I know he, yeah, he said he had what? Oh, might as well be. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and what's your name and how old are you? My name is Kate. I'm, I'm about to be 30 next week. 30? Okay, and what do you do? Celebrate my birthday. What do you okay. do? Okay, you Aquarius. Mean? I'm an Aquarius too. I'm an Aquarius. You know what I mean? I lay pipe, break down walls, I do all that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bro, somebody put this nigga in a restricted corner because I don't like niggas that be so eager to talk like that. Those be the niggas you be aware of. What this nigga talking about? What is this nigga talking? 
These is the niggas that give you signs. These is the niggas when they talk to women, they don't blink. Bro, back away, bro. Black away, bro. Back away, bro. What's this nigga talking about, bro? I'm behind the screen nervous, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. Nigga, that show is not funny, nigga. Tee up, nigga. <laughs> nah, but nah, listen, like, you know what I mean? I have a son and that's my pride and joy, you know what I mean? If that's not, if that's a deal breaker, it is what it is. Oh. It should be. I love yeah. your glasses, though, and the jacket. I appreciate Very that. Very glad. Okay. And why did you keep your balloon unpopped for Shauna? I mean, you're very attractive. But Thank you. You know what I mean? I think logical aspect, you know what I mean? Good. If it is what it is, it is what it is. Period. And so, um, as far as him having kids, I know that was one of your deal breakers, but is he your type? Yes. Okay. I really like your style. Like, the glasses, the shades, if I see him out, I'm like, okay. All right. <laughs> Perfect, Seth. appreciate that. Thank you. Awesome. So, we do have our three guys left here. Okay. Anybody else hiding kids? Because he, I don't think I saw you raise your hand. No one else? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. So, Shada, did you have another question for the guys that you wanted yeah. to help? <laughs> um, do you guys have a passport? Oh, look. Oh, you don't have a passport? <laughs> All right. If we could have your. I mean, before, I remember I was talking to this girl, and this, this is probably the most accomplished girl that I talked to. And she was just like, nah, I'm gonna need a nigga with a passport because I want to travel. And it's like, where am I? What can I do with a nigga that can't travel? And I'm like, that's a valid perspective, bro name and how old you are my name is chris Tavian. i'm 24 years old and what do you do i'm a fit this nigga 24 oh nah 24 but it's like do i have space to talk i did think i have more space to talk i can't lie because the build the back of the neck niggas like that in my high school we would take a metro card and we would go <laughs> Yo, me in high school was mad or reckless, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm a personal barber, and I'm also certified behavioral. And what do you do? I'm a filmmaker, personal barber, and I'm also certified behavioral health tech. Okay. So Shauna did end up popping your balloon here because you don't have a passport. What's going on? Why you don't got a passport? <laughs> I'm getting one this year. <laughs> I've been scared to fly all my life, but... Oh. It's got to the point where I need to fly, so I ain't got no choice but to get one now. Okay. So, so you, you've never flown, ever? I've never flown. I'm wow. terrified of heights. Okay. Yeah, I drive everywhere. <laughs> I commend you for taking the steps to go with your fear, though. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Shauna, as far as just him not having a passport, is he your type? Oh, you're handsome. I like your outfit. I like the shoes. Thank you. These are nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so brother, if you uh, to he is someone that you would go for. Brother, uh, we'll see if he's out. I have yeah. to see a lot. But. Oh, okay. We'll <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, why did you keep your balloon unpopped for Shauna? I'm a sucker for tall women. Ooh. She's beautiful. What is nigga talking about? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You can have a you can have an extended vocabulary, but I feel like some lingo, some dialect is just corny. Corny, like I'm a sucker for tall women. That's not gonna get her pum pum wet, bro. Some shit you can't say. I'm a sucker for tall women. You can't say that shit in New York? Bro, your environment really depend on everything. Imagine you said that to any girl in the city. I'm a sucker for... <laughs> Yo, she would have hit you with... Nah, you lost me, bro. You definitely, you definitely lost me with that, because no. Her being tall is a plus. Shana, we do have two guys left. Okay. So... Out of these two guys, did you have a question that you wanted to ask the both of them or one specifically? Um, okay. You know, my two questions was really, I came with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is a typical night outlook for you guys? Okay, we'll like start. Like a Saturday here. night out. If we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Isaac. I'm 27. And Isaac, what do you do? I'm a marketing event planner and a commercial print model. Okay. Then you go ahead and uh, get her. I really be in the house. I don't really be outside like yeah. that. <laughs> I'm an outside girl. I respect them not lying though. Even though that's a that's a it, I respect them. I respect them for not lying because my niggas would have just lied. Okay, so if you were to go outside, what would you end up doing? I'd probably go to Old Town or something, Fashion Square. You know, one of the clubs out there or something. 
But I mainly just be in the house, so. Yeah. Okay. We'll pass our next guy here. So your name and how old you are? I'm Ja. I'm 31 years old. And Ja, what do you do? Um, so right now I'm in private security, and then I also own a company for digital entertainment, like music, screenwriting. I also model as well. And then if you want to just go ahead and answer a question. So honestly, I, I'm a homebody too. I be in the house, and I like doing stuff like around the house together. But if I'm out, I like finding a new place to go get something to eat or maybe going to get drinks that has got a nice aesthetic or something like that. Or honestly, if we just even just riding around and vibing and, and seeing new sites, Arizona's perfect for that, so. Okay. And so what do you like to do? Like when you go out, what's your night looking like? Um, I like to usually start at dinner. Um, I'm really big on dancing, like I said, so I love to go hear music, catch a little vibe. I'm not in my in-the-house era at all. <laughs> so that is just, uh, it's a little hard. Yeah, I mean, so is that something that's like a deal breaker for you, that they're homebodies? Like you want somebody who's outside with you? I think so. I'm 24, so. Mm -hmm. I do still like outside. Yeah. I think that's the easiest way to put it. I like outside. My home is cool, but I like to be out and about. I like to see the sights, see what's going on. Okay. Mm. You put this on, you want people to see it. That's that part. Uh oh. Okay. All right. So, Isaac, why did we end up popping? She likes to be outside. I'm not. <laughs> I don't, I'm not outside like that. But she's a very beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you. She was stallion. Yeah. Um, she has a beautiful personality too. Thank so. you, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And so, um, is Isaac your type? Like, is he? If he were to approach you, like, would you go for that? I think he's handsome. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like your outfit, little Dior. It's cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah! So we do have yeah! y'all left. So y'all, we can have you come back out here. <laughs> go ahead and see if this is someone that you do want to say okay. yes to. So I do have a question that I'm going to go ahead and ask, you know, for the both of you, see if it's okay. a yes. So where do you see yourself in the next five years? So right now I enjoy private security. I plan on investing in it as far as a company in the future. But mainly what I see in five years is me facilitating my writing in the industry and then seeing where my music career goes as well. And then modeling is, is cool, but it's something I'm successful in. It's not something I'm really planning on, longevity-wise. Okay. And now what about for yourself? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um, I see myself continuing my software engineering career. Um, I'm definitely a nine-to-five girly. Um, I enjoy that. And also building my real estate business. I've been doing, I bought a house, and I continue on planning that. So, growing okay. that, sorry. Okay. Can I ask a question? Go for it. How? How big is the dancing thing? Do I need to dance too? Or how <laughs> like, how big is that? Cause I, I got nothing. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I do do professional dancing. I go to my little heels class on the side, but in the club, I I do, do, nigga. I'm not hitting with a whole routine. I'm okay. not doing that. And okay. In the floor so, back. so my I two like step is, is cool. Yes, a two step will be cool. Right. But you got to get on the floor, though. You know, people be scared to get on the floor. Every time I gotta get on. Every, every night every I gotta. Time. Get, uh, I hear the song. I'm. Uh. <laughs> she okay. gets it. I'm up. Okay. okay. All, right. All right. So, is it going to be a yes for you for Jaw? What was your age again? 31. 31. I think I'm going to say no. Uh, You're yeah. just it's being. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh -huh. It's going to be the perfect match. Okay. All right. Thank you, though. <laughs> Jaw, we'll have you go back over there. <laughs> All right, Chana. So that is all the balloons popped. <laughs> so we weren't able to find you love today, but maybe next time we'll maybe be able to. Time. Thank you so much for coming Thank out. You. Thank you for your time, y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're good, guys. Let's give it up for her. <laughs> give it up, y'all. <laughs> Bro is twenty-four. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Welcome in. Hello. What's your name? I'm Yamal. Yamal, how old are you? I'm 26. Yo, I thought that was Miss Green Dress. I was ready to dislike. <laughs> so what do you yeah. do? Um, I'm a dancer and I own a topless cleaning company called Tidy Titties. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and Yamal, what do you look for in a man? Mm. 
do your research. <laughs> Hold on, do your research. <laughs> Cause it's crazy how all of us is going on safari right now. Look at even the girl like, look at y'all niggas like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at y'all niggas like yo But I still don't know why they popping though like okay I don't know their reasoning but if their reasoning is like oh I don't wanna get into that and you know that reflects like she don't have to be like she don't have to be the one doing that Um I don't have any real preferences like like two specific pre preferences besides like you're beautiful inside and out. Okay. So, yeah. All you're right. like a good person. So. so you don't, it doesn't matter like height, no, beard, yeah. none of that? No, I okay. just, yeah. As long as like you're, you're great. You, so you know? like personality more? Yeah, I like a vibe. Okay. You know, I like to connect with people. I like to talk. So, yeah. All right. So we did get a few balloons pop. Let's go ahead and go over to some of those okay, guys. Cool. See what's going on. Yeah. Let's start right over here. If we okay. can have your name and how old you are and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Chris Davion. I'm 24. The reason I pop my balloon is, I don't know if you just have people working under you or you do the topless cleaning, but I, when you say that, I imagine you doing it. And Yeah. You do it? No, I have people working oh, with okay. me. But, like, why would you assume that she does it? She said that's her business. I, I'd be wondering if some niggas be okay, you know? As well, but yeah, okay. I I do it too. It's like, oh. it's my company. Yeah. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. Never mind. I'm thinking you're the boss. I didn't think you was the worker. Mm -mm -mm. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, that's why I popped it. Just yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Seems like stripper junior. Like that's. No, I like the idea. I think you make a lot of money. There's a lot of men that would. OJ, you're that. wrong. I probably would pay for that myself as a single man. OJ, you're wrong. LOL. You thought you ate with that LOL. <laughs> I'm not wrong. This is my. This is my. If I don't want a girl that's working topless, that's fine. If I pop my balloon and that's. And she said that she also. It's her job, but she also works topless. And I said, I don't want a girl that works topless. How am I wrong? That's me. I don't want you. What? Lady, go play with that rose. But That's as great. a spouse, I just, I don't want my um, spouse Totally partner. understandable. Eee. Yeah. Eee. And now, is he your type? Eee. No, he's not my type. Okay. And what makes him not your type? Um, probably, like, just, like, the skin, you know? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So, <laughs> do you like like clear skin? Or? Yeah, like okay. you know, I yeah. Oh. Clothes aren't really well fitting. Oh, oh, sorry, just, sorry. You know, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And now I know you said you popped because of her um her business. Now is she your type? Like if you saw her out, would you approach her? Not necessarily. Mm, okay. And why not? She has beautiful skin. Actually, skin is way better than mine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say, I would say, I don't even know if it's an overbite, but it would be the, yeah. This nigga look like he's still from Primark because it's snowing. Like, bro, do you have space? Like, you, this nigga speaking with, it's, it's ah, uh, like this nigga can't even speak with no like this nigga not even confident though, bro. Like you truly not even confident in yourself. Like niggas can see that. Like no, stop this cap, bro. I don't like that shit, bro. You said her over her overbite. I'm not sure if it's an overbite, but yeah. I I'm certified. I'm a dental assistant as well, so yeah, it would be okay. it would be that. Okay. You, are <sighs> you are you are. <sighs> Fuck wrong with oh, this nigga. <laughs> Fuck wrong with All this right, nigga. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and go on to our next guy over okay. here. All right. And if we can have your name and how old you are and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Isaac. I'm 27. I popped my balloon because she said, what's the name of your business? Tiny titties? Tidy titties. Tidy titties. Mm -hmm. Oh, because, yeah, the topless. I, yeah, I can't do it. What kind of dance are you? Um, I'm an exotic dancer. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, okay. 
But aside from that, you're beautiful. You Thank have amazing you. skin. I like your hair texture you. and everything. So, yeah. And you, you, you're well dressed too. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and now, is Isaac your type? I would say, yeah. And what makes him your type? Um, I like his style. He seems pretty clean. Um, yeah, I like the bald and the beard. <laughs> it's good. It Nigga put the watch in there. He think he low. And now, you said her business is a deal breaker. Um, why is that a deal breaker for you? Mm. <laughs> I don't know about, you know, topless women cleaning. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. I feel like if, if if you're in a relationship with somebody, that's something very hard to, you know. What was the inspiration behind the business? Um, Really, I don't, there's not really an inspiration. I just like to win. I, I'm already, I love to dance. That's what I like to do. But I can't do that forever. So mm. for me, I want to use that um, to hire other people. So I have like a stable income, for okay. to say. So like, that's the best way I think I could do it. I never had a business before. It's my, it's my first one, and okay. I, I really like it. It's cool. I like to clean. I love to clean. I'm a really clean person. So, okay. I wish yeah. you, I wish your business much success. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Isaac. <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our next guy here. Your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping. Bro, is this nigga weird? Like, wait, wait. Let's let's peep this nigga body language. I wish yeah. you, I wish your business much success. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Isaac. All right, let's go on over to our next guy here. Your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. <laughs> My name is Ja. I'm 31 years old, and um, I'm really big into magnetism, and I, I really want somebody that I can, like, see a vibe with immediately. I like your personality. <laughs> I think what you're doing is cool, and I wish your business success as well. Make a think he exuding like class. <laughs> um, but I feel like yeah. I want to... <laughs> find something that's just like like, <laughs> like, like a genesis qual like you just don't really know what it is but you're just attracted to it so no totally i get okay, i get that cool. yeah but you're beautiful though and i, I do love your skin thank color you. as well thank you thank you all right and now is jaw someone who if he were to approach you would you go for that absolutely yeah okay you said absolutely so what yeah he's yeah. just handsome <laughs> okay yeah. thank you, thank you, you know i don't know you but yeah you're you we'll, look good we'll get to know each other i'm sure well, you popped your balloon, so I'm not True. sure about that. <laughs> True. Yeah. Okay. Nigga trying to get True. some side yeah. pum pum. Look at this nigga. So, we do still have four balloons unpopped. Okay. Let me, can I see you too? Thank you very much. So go ahead and follow me back here. Okay. So, out of these four guys left, we're going to go just based off of what you've seen so far, whether it's, you know, height, outfit, whatever it may be. I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this one. Okay. All right, and uh, <laughs> why did you pop in his balloon? Um, he's just not my type. In what way? <laughs> Yo, you better be careful with how you turn that nigga. You better be careful, bro. You better be careful, bro. This the type of nigga you you gotta give him your real number. <laughs> You gotta give him your real number because he gonna call that shit on the spot. Like, you don't play with these niggas, bro. In all the ways. Okay. Yeah. So, what does that entail? You gotta wait till you block him when you don't see him. Hell, like... Uh, I don't know him. Um, I, I met him one time. Okay. <laughs> one time. Wait, wait, hold on. What does that way? In all the ways. Balloon. Um, he's just not my type. In what way? In all the ways. Okay, yeah. so what does that entail? Like, uh, I don't know him. Why he said we know each other like he done been in that? Yo, niggas is shysty. Um, I, I met him one time. Okay. <laughs> one time. And yeah, that was it. I don't oh, know nah. Oh, okay. And sir, what's your name and how old are you? My name is Kate. You know what I mean? I'm about to be 30 years old. Okay, and um, now she says she doesn't know you, but you're claiming to know her. <laughs> and I'm just going to ask, why did you leave your balloon unpopped for her? I mean, I didn't hear no bullshit, so I'm not even going to lie. You know I mean, you, you said some real shit. You, know yeah. I mean? you didn't say anything that was negative, so I'm not going to pop a balloon for no reason. So right. I'm just going to leave that open for everybody else. Yeah. I mean, but you cool. 
Thank you. You're cool too. Yeah, you're cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so we do have our three guys left here. Did you want to go ahead and eliminate another one based off of what you're seeing, or did you have a question? Something is off about that makeup, bro. Like, I don't know. Body language would be so prominent. Like, I, I, something is off about that um, makeup, bro. Yeah, sure. I have a question. Yeah, go for it. Um, what's your biggest pet peeve? Okay, let's start right here. If we can have your name, how old you are, and what's your biggest pet peeve? Um, probably <laughs> a, a liar. A liar. And yeah. I would say that, and, um, what else I would say? That's, uh, that's always negative. That's, I hate a oh, negative. Oh, yeah, I so. agree with that, yeah. So, yeah. Negative vibes and a liar, so. Yeah. That's good. Go to our next I wasn't uh, laughing because I seen the short nigga. Yeah, I was just laughing. My pet peeve is just like a woman that's just not in her femininity. You know, like I'm real masculine. I'm a male. I'm Aries, so it's like I'm not like a like an asshole or nothing like or hella assertive. But yeah. I just like a feminine aspect type shit. Like to cook, like you know, take not necessarily take care of me, but just that loving, mm-hmm. you know, that loving energy. Okay, can I take? Can I see your eyes? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my bad. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. I'm here. (laughs) Wait, what's your name? My name is Ishmael. Ishmael? Okay, nice to meet you, Ishmael. Pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Over to our last guy over here. Bro, bro, it's done off. Okay, and she can have your name and what's your biggest pet peeve? (laughs) Daryl and uh Nigga, put your balloon in the front. Yo, where is this nigga's confidence? Bro, put your balloon in the front. Niggas think they're yo, what's up with this nigga? Like, what's up with this nigga? So like you taking all day, like we got a plans at seven. Yo, oh, what's yeah, up with this nigga? Like and you ain't ready by like six o'clock and you ready at seven. Yeah, I'm I'm cool on that. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I don't like that either. I like I love being on time. Okay. So yeah. Okay, that's good. You think this you think this nigga is weird? What makes him weird? Okay, you guys all had some really great answers. Yeah. Let's go ahead and eliminate one of them based off of what you've heard. Um, <laughs> Would I pop that belly? I'm probably just I'm sorry, I'm gonna okay. eliminate you. And why'd you end up popping his? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> um, I think ultimately, like, I don't know. I don't, you know, you're cool. I just don't think, like, I don't know. I don't think we go together. Okay. And what, what makes you think you guys don't go together? I can't put, I can't put a finger on it right now. Okay. Is that okay? You want to call him ghetto. Just say ghetto. Just say it. That, yeah. Yeah, I just yeah. can't. You just weren't feeling the vibe there, or yeah, I don't think there's like much. There. Okay. <laughs> and so, um, Dara, why did you end up leaving your balloon unpopped for her? I, I ain't gonna lie, when I hurt the titties, it uh, kept me interested. Oh. Okay. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Same titties cleaning. I'm, 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 cool, I'm cool with that. Yeah. See, some people <laughs> like it. So. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. You don't see at the crib cleaning with your, with your shirt off. I, I can't say no to that. So. Okay. I, you know what I'm saying I'm keeping it. I'm keeping the honey. If you have to crib your shirt off, to cleaning. I'm. I'm make sure the house dirty. You know okay. what I'm saying. So her her choice of business is what kept you intrigued. I just heard titties. I ain't gonna lie to you. Okay. Okay. But as far as like <laughs> appearance wise. You no. Know, yeah. Yeah. She got some nice skin. She. She. She look good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, it's just the titties. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, she's covered. <laughs> Let's go this way. So, Ishmael did end up popping his balloon. What's going on? Uh, just to be real, like, you beautiful vibe is, is lit, but it just seems like you don't really know what you want type shit. Like, you said something about his outfit, and then you said, like, he wasn't really your style. Them is two different styles. It's like, you know, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't really like that. I, I like to know somebody that know what they want. Like, you like you know, you go after it type shit. So, I, yeah. don't, I don't know how to read you type shit. Yeah, it's okay. I totally understand. Thank you. So... We do have one guy left right on over here. Okay. And so I'm going to ask, like, is Terrence someone that's your type? No. Okay. Sorry, Terrence. <laughs> and why is he not your type? I mean, he's not not fully my type, you know. I just, yeah, I'm a really picky person, okay. So, like, I think it's the lips for me. Okay. I, you know. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Because I remember when I asked you earlier, you said you don't have a type, but now you're no, saying you're a picky I don't, person. No, well, I'm not. I don't, I don't have a type. Like, there's not something specific that, like, I go for. But, like, if I like you, I like you. If I don't, I don't. And it's as simple as that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, so, for him, what is it that you're not liking? 
the lips. I don't. I can't kiss him. What's wrong with all that ashy? What's wrong with my lip? Bro, you cannot laugh. Why is that nigga laughing? I can't even make the joke because he just got me tight. Like, bro, you stay silent, bro. Balloon got popped, bro. <laughs> like, there's a rule, bro. <laughs> like, you don't laugh, bro. You don't laugh at the next man your balloon just got popped. What, nigga, what's up with niggas? I just don't think they're moisturized. Bro, unlick your lips. Rewind. You should have never did that because I knew you wanted to lick your lips when she said, bro, that's how I know I should say jokes when they come to my head and I should stop holding it, bro. Because I knew when she said lips the first time, this nigga tried to keep his lips so steady. It was like a brain, it was like a brain adjustment to not lick his lips. Now she want to instigate again and to, I ask why. You know why. You were an instigator. Then you made this nigga lick his lips. Then it's going to be another clip of violation on TikTok for this nigga. I'm not jacking this lady, bro. What's wrong with her? Ashy. Huh? What's wrong with my lips? I just don't think they're moisturized enough. Oh, okay. okay. I'm Where's my blister? <laughs> I did just have my blister. Sorry, that's okay. not. Okay. You could. We could easily put some Vaseline <laughs> on them. Uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. be good, but just uh -huh. right now, <laughs> you wouldn't. Uh -huh. you know? <laughs> you get it. Okay. I'm at home. And now, Terrence, why did you leave your balloon unpopped? For when I did that smash her past, my lips was not dry, nigga. I'm at home. What the fuck is you talking her. about? Well, I thought she was very interesting, and uh, she was like, she got people working for her that working. So I'm like, okay, I can see that she can move on and like stop if she decided to have kids or something like that. But I just feel like she got a plan together, and she seemed like she's a strong black woman, but. I mean, I like it so far. I would, it would have been hard for me to tell my mom what kind of business uh, you got. Yeah, whatever. it's none of her business. It's <laughs> all my business. Yes, so, yes, but, yeah, you know, but, she is fine yeah, though. You can pop me. I'm just fine. Oh, She's no. beautiful. Should I just pop it? Yeah. I have to. You said okay. It's not <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Go home to your cats. Well, unfortunately, you know, that is all the balloons pop. Yeah. We weren't able to find anyone today. Yeah, but bad. much luck and success, I hope, for thank your business you. in the future. Thank you. Thank, thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Thank you for Have coming on. Have a wonderful on. night, guys. <laughs> Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single girl. Hello, welcome in. What's Thank your you. name? Talisha. What was that? Talisha. Talisha, how old are you? 23. 23. And what do you do? I'm in the military. You're in the military. Okay, nice. Which branch? Air Force. Air Force. Nice. And so what do you look for in a guy? Uh, someone who has like personal and career goals, okay. family oriented. Yeah. You know, okay. A handyman. A handyman. All right. Cool. Cool. So we did get a few balloons pop. Let's go ahead and go over to some of these guys. See what's going on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's start right on over here. Uh, if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Chris Davion. I'm 24. You actually very beautiful, by the way, and you got a nice body. Um, you may have some melanin in you because of hair, but I need someone that I could like darker complexion you know what i'm saying <laughs> but you're, you're very beautiful that's what was the only reason i popped okay so she's too light-skinned light <laughs> i just wanted to see her body him again that's why i was letting him play i'm gonna go like 27 <laughs> the square people like my head shit we've had like that <laughs> <laughs> okay, this work we're here your name how old you are and why you ended up popping your balloon i'm key I'm about to be 30 next week. And why this nigga still exactly what I was about to say? Because <laughs> it's not no disrespect <laughs> or none of that. Uh, yo. You remind me of a friend, and I f really do feel like we could be friends and all that shit. But yeah, I'm a cool you know friend. I, mean? I feel that. Yeah, and I feel like we could lock it in and all that shit, but it's just not, you know what I mean? I feel like we just can't be in that connection no, aspect. I definitely feel that too. You know what I mean? And I don't want to ruin that if we are going to be friends in the future. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not that. She looking right. at this nigga like you dope as hell though. I fuck Appreciate with your tattoo. I actually want to know what your tattoos is and how many tattoos you got. I got like eighteen tattoos. Eighteen? Wow. Yeah. I'm good. It's just a sunflower. It's a koi fish. I'm good. I only got four. Just that wrap around. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. yeah. For sure. And now is he your type? Like would I ever walk up to him? Or if he <laughs> if he, if he walked up to you, would you? be like how would you like would you be okay with that i think i would definitely like we could be cool like we 
we homeboys. Mm. What's up? Yeah, homeboy girl. Yeah. Okay. So you don't. We get... definitely be friends for sure. Like I feel like I'm on the same vibe as him. Okay. So you wouldn't you wouldn't date him though. No. Okay. And why not? Like, is he? No, he just seemed like a homeboy to me. Okay. Like, all right. That's cool. That's <laughs> That's right. Okay, cool. Thank you. So we do still have three balloons unpopped. So <laughs> he, he hurt. Like, why you ain't come my way? Like, you could say nothing to me. Like, your nigga is hurt. Question like, you wanted to ask the guys to kind of help you narrow it down to see which one out of these three you're leaning towards. Yeah, I have siblings, like sisters specifically. You just you could just raise how many sisters do you have with your hand. Yes, two. Two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Three? Okay, he has three down there. Okay, so Gwen. basically if you, like if your sister brought home a guy like you, would you approve? Oh, okay, let's start right here. Yes, my name is Terrence, I'm 34, I'm from Alabama. And yes, I would definitely okay it. You know what? Yes. Okay. What traits do you feel like you have that make you a good partner? Well, I would say, um, how would I would say, I'm a great lover, like I love everyone so you know i got love for everyone i don't hate no one i might hate what they do but i love everyone okay yeah nice your name how you do you come off genuine though if you want to answer a question my name is ishmael i'm 29 and hell yeah <laughs> because uh i'm like i don't know i'm real balanced right like I, I pay attention to the duality in life so i can't work with my hands but i'm also good with my mind i actually like to think my mind is stronger but i'm good with my hands too so hell yeah okay Thank you. Okay, your name, how old you are, and her answer to her question. Daryl, 33, and uh, cause I'm a cool ass dude. I'm funny, like I said. I don't be in no drama, like I said. It's simple, you know what I'm saying? I don't look like a threat. I ain't no thug or nothing like that, so yeah. Okay. All right, so based off of those responses, if I can see your phone. Oh, Based off of those responses, which guy's balloon do you feel like popping? Do it have to be based off the responses? Or if it's whatever, once we get there, you can let me know more. Okay. Oh, oh, she's going. All right. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm taller than you. Oh. All right. So why did you say you ended up popping his balloon? I'm taller than him. Oh. Why are you instigating? You want to hurt this nigga feeling so bad. She, she just said she told her... You instigate too much because you know it's hurting him now. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Then you be putting that mic in the, in their face when they have nothing to see. Stop doing that, bro. Okay. Very sweet. Okay. Appreciate you. No problem. That's literally it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now, as far as the two guys left, did you want to ask them another question to narrow it down? Or did you want to go based off of those responses that they gave you? Mm. Oh, can you ask a question? Okay, yeah, definitely. Okay, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So what would you say is the best quality about yourself? Uh, I definitely have to say my personality. Okay. Definitely. Like, uh, I'm like an outgoing person. I'm a social butterfly. But at the times I need to be serious too, you know, I know how to get serious. So that balance, balance is key. Uh, well, he pretty much just said what I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> so I say, understanding. So I understand what people are going on. So I said, bad day, good day. Like, so you're going to be on your neck and stuff like that. Because I understand what people go through. Okay. okay. Yeah. How you feeling about that? Uh, okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna be typical and say the same thing he say. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be different. You gotta say something different. I can't be copycat what he's saying. So, right. yeah. Okay. Bro, here. this is not class, bro. Why you don't sound like you confident in your own responses? This is not a classroom. This shit feel like a classroom. I, you gonna say what I was gonna say? What, bro? Like, you don't know how to express yourself in a different manner? Like, what? What's up with this? But I don't know who you think she gonna pick because I feel like you already know, you already know, this nigga seem like the more valid nigga. But at the end of the day, some guy like this they be going off a of height. So who you feel like she gonna pick, or you feel like she gonna do the both of them? But it must seem like a cool nigga. I'm not gonna lie, she seem pretty pretty chill. 
<laughs> once that nigga talks, he hides his balloon. Like, why are you hiding your balloon, bro? Like, that's weird, bro. That don't stop your shit from getting popped, bro. I ain't never seen that. Where you from? North Carolina. Oh, that's crazy. I'm trying to go to North Carolina. Why are you trying to go to North Carolina? You said what? Why are you trying to go to North Carolina? Something different. Mm, sorry. Yeah, something okay. different. Mm. How long you been in Arizona? Three years. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. How you feeling? Are you leaning towards? Oh. <laughs> Okay, so why did we end up opening his balloon? I don't know. It's just like I can't really see it going nowhere. Not for real. He not authentic. Cool though, for real. He not authentic. Let's see. Right. <laughs> he not authentic. Bro. All right, and so it's just you know you're just getting like friend vibes again. Or maybe he's nervous. Okay. Did does that? Do you usually get a lot of friend vibes from guys? Like it's never like. Not really. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he do kind of remind me of somebody from home. So it's oh. like. Yeah. I, I can see that. Okay. I said I'm a cool ass dude, so <laughs> easy to be cool with. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. All right, let's go down on over here. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Okay. Nigga. <laughs> Bro, but who do these niggas feel like, though? Who do these niggas feel like, though? She just friends on you too, bro. Like, what is you talk? Bro, so I'm not wasting time on this nigga, bro. Older than twenty nine. Nigga look like you, Jesus Christ. Y'all <laughs> seem older than twenty nine. Yeah. That's good. I like that. Okay. That's good. I'm still pretty young. Yeah. How old are you? I'm twenty three. Twenty three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Bib, what are you saying? She's over here with the bullshit. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you're over here with the bullshit you want, a younger man that was right here. What are you talking about? You're over here with the bullshit. Skin out your, t I'm not talking about her, I'm singing a song. Skin out your tight tight. If you have like a temper type shit? Tamper. Like how how do you how do you, good. Like, you say I seem older than <laughs> yeah, yeah. How old are you? I'm twenty three. Twenty three? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got like you like you have like a temper type shit? A tamper. Like how how do you, how are your responses with something that you don't like? Come on, like I usually just leave you alone. Type shit. Very type shit. Oh, okay, you more quiet. Yeah. That's cool though, yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah, that's it though. Hell yeah. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. Appreciate you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, that is all the balloons popped, but thank you so much for coming on out. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, men. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hello. Welcome in. Hi. What's your name? Carletta. Carletta. How old are you? 26. 26. And what do you do? I'm an engineer, electrical. Oh, nice. Okay. That's far. And now, Carletta, what do you look for in a man? <sighs> um, what do I look for? Someone funny, mm -hmm. ambitious, <laughs> active. You have to be in a gym. Oh. Um, a hundred crips, a hundred crip push-ups, a hundred crip sit-ups every single morning. Semi-active. And did I say ambitious already? Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so ambitious is set. up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so as far as like looks go, do you have a specific type? Uh, <laughs> do I have a specific type? Mm -hmm. um, not really. Just a black man. Okay. I have to be attracted to you, obviously. Not really. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Tall. Yeah. I'm short, but like... <laughs> Everything, yeah, I'm only five feet, so I feel like everything over than that, over okay. that is okay. I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. So you said tall, just as long as they're taller than you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And now, what do you like to do for fun? Um, what do I like to do for fun? I like to really do anything active, like outside. Mm -hmm. I just like to honestly have fun. Mm -hmm. I like to go on hikes. I like to play games. Okay. Um, I read in my free time. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, I read in my free time. I do my business sometimes, okay. or not even sometimes, but like, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we did get some balloons pop. Let's go ahead and go Yo, on to some of those guys what? and see what's going on there. Okay. All right. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. My name is Chris Davion. I'm 24. You sound very intellectual <laughs> when you speak. Um, just not necessarily my type. Um, what makes her not your type? I don't think I have any specific reason. I just don't see her as someone I would kind of approach. Maybe I would say maybe it's because you're probably too petite. But I've mm -hmm. dated petite girls in the past, and okay. I, I kind of just kind of go for the thicker. Yeah, that's thicker okay. And taller, <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Okay. And now, is he your type? No, that's okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and what makes him so not your cool. type? Um, <laughs> not necessarily attracted to you. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go on to our next guy. <laughs> Hello. All right. Hello. We can have your name, how old you are, why you ended up popping your balloon. Okay. I didn't do it off of disrespect. I mean, you're mm -hmm. very gorgeous. You're very beautiful. But I just did it just because I felt like you really didn't know what your type was. And you really didn't know what you're trying to achieve out here. Because we're here for a show for a reason. Mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? If you know what your type was and you know what you're trying to go for, then... A type is more physical than what I'm actually looking for. Physical so or mental or, you know what I mean? You're looking in your soul. I guess, okay. You're digging deep in your soul. And that's, you know what I mean? That's what I just want her back up for. Don't relate, but I got you. <laughs> like, nigga, you're chatting. Like, let me be the hood translator. Like, this nigga is yapping because what is this nigga talking about? What is this nigga talking about? This nigga appears so slow. <laughs> Bro, what is this nigga talking about? Bro. <laughs> That's okay. And you know, I don't want to be that nigga like I'm a hater, but it, the first niggas be, that be eager to pop the balloon be the niggas that you know that women don't approach outside. And they just be like, bro, cool out, bro. Like, you get an approach now, cool out, bro. Like, I don't know, gang. Now, <laughs> is he your type? No. Ooh, okay, what makes him not your type? Um, style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's going on with his style? <laughs> um... Style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's going on with it? That's illegal, bro. That's illegal, bro. And the reason I always say dirty Air Forces are illegal is because you have more sneakers than that. So why didn't you just make us a fit a fit with your all black sneak your all black sneakers? I'm not jacking that shit, bro. That shit looked disgusting, bro. That shit matched the color of his coat. That's why he thought he was drippy. Dirt drip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <laughs> 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 that nigga. Um, Mr. Br bro, you're not funny. Bro, bro, is this nigga a human? Wait, 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 is this nigga a human? This nigga is not funny. Oh my god, it's making me uncomfortable right now. Bro. Burberry, it just don't give to me. No disrespect. No disrespect. So you're not That's filling okay. his glasses? No, no, no. It's it's just the whole outfit. Oh, he was trying to flex his Burberry glasses? Nigga, them shits so like them shits been on nostrin, bro. That's how I'm saying drip don't come with price, bro. Drip don't come with price. Cause he was I thought he was trying to act like he ain't hear her. Like you trying to be like, oh nigga, I don't hear what you're saying, I'm still drip. You trying to show that your shits is Burberry? Nigga, you dirty, nigga. Nigga, you dirty, nigga. You're not Duke Dennis, nigga. Oh, okay. up, nigga. The What's your name? Look at him. Look at him. This. Why are you shrugging your shoulders, exhaling in front of this woman? I'm not jacking that, bro. I'm getting early signs. I'm getting very early signs of something. Because what's going on with this nigga, what bro? What you want to know that? You just tell me that. Because I want to say the whole outfit. Oh, okay. The beater and stuff. Mm. What's your name? What would you want to know that? What? I just, you just told me that. Because I want to say it was nice to meet you, that. and that's it. Oh, okay. My name is Keith. Keith. I go by Jungle out here. Jungle. I go by Jungle. Out here. Even more. I don't, I don't no. Know no. Why your name Jungle? Well, 
<laughs> oh god, she sounded too crazy. Why? Wilding. Why? You wilding out here. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next guy. <laughs> so, if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, I'm Ja. I'm 31. And initially, realistically, it was a height I would prefer, just a bit taller. Like, I didn't even notice you had platforms on until you said you was five foot. Damn, <laughs> you figure out what's going on. Yeah. But also, I mean, I want to be attracted to the personality. You seem like a cool person, but I don't know if it's somebody that's complimentary to who I am. Okay. You know, at a depth. So cool. that was it. And so you said her personality is not vibing with yours. What kind of personality do you usually go for? Um, You know what? I feel like, and I mean, this may not be too explanatory, but I feel like maybe a bit more centered. Mm. Right? Okay. I feel like you're really into, yeah, I feel like you're really into who you are. And I'm, I guess, maybe looking for somebody who has a bit more well-roundedness and a little bit more I, I guess security emotional security too I don't get it <laughs> just based on her responses like I'm listening to what what she's saying like okay. I legit like what you're doing mm-hmm. but I'm listening to how you respond to like some of the things that's happening right here and I'm just like oh well, yeah I haven't seen really what I wanted to see okay oh. and now is Jaw your type you're attractive thank you I appreciate it I don't, I feel like she's cooling. I'm not going to lie. I feel like she's really actually cooling. I don't see no problem with her. I don't know what they talking about. I don't agree with that. I think she's cool. Yeah. You are, I, I do like your body. But, I, I don't know, bro. That. Of course. I mean, if I had to compliment you on something. Mm-hmm. Got you. <laughs> All right, let's head back over here. <laughs> if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is Ishmael. I'm 29. Uh, your vibe, everything is cool. All, all the answers I really wasn't tripping off of, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm from Cali. I'm. I, I know what I like. Like, I like ass. Like, <laughs> when I seen you walk that way, I was just like, eh. And say if we was to be in a relationship type shit, and I see another girl with like a big ass booty type shit, like, mm. I just want to be what I'm attracted to type shit. So it's nothing personal against you. Your whole vibe, everything cool. But I just know what I like. I like ass. Like, yeah. Okay. You know. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, he blunt, but I don't think I'd ever say that a lot. I know <laughs> what I got. Little booties <laughs> matter, too. You know, little booties matter, you know. I ain't against you. Look, you know, if you, if I probably seen you outside, I definitely probably might, you know, get at you. But I just, mm. like, I don't know. It's just something about booty that just get me, like, you know. I'm just okay. being real. But. Okay. All right. And now, is Ishmael your type? No. And why not? Um. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't do the grill thing. Yeah. You from Cali? All day. Good for you. So, yeah, if you don't do the what grill, that's, that's probably not a good. Uh, I'm from the Bay Area. We call it the Yay okay. Area. You know the Yay saying? Area? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. All right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we do have. Okay, no disrespect to Short Man's because he's cool. But I've been wondering, like, I really see him pop his balloon. So, I've been wondering if he low key, like, just be as like loving and open minded, or just be like, if you feel like because he's short, he just gonna leave it open to be selected. But we may never really know. But three balloons left unpopped. Okay. Did you have a question that you wanted to ask the guys? Go ahead and help us narrow it down for you. Mm, let's see. Um, what is the thing that I will probably be most surprised about, or that people are more surprised about when you tell them? All right, let's start here. If we can have your name, how old you are, and you answer a question. Yes, um, that's a good question. Um, I would say... Oh, tell her your name, please. Oh, my name is Terrence. I'm from Alabama, and I'm 34. Hey, hey how you doing? And um, I would tell... When I tell people I'm, like, a real good electrician, they don't believe me, but I'm an electrician and a welder, so I tell people that, they be like, yeah, you do both of them. So I done done both of them at a high level. And cool. worked on some very important stuff in the world. Mm. Yes. Sweet. Okay. Hi, Valio. Your name, how old you are, if you want to answer her question. I'm Isaac. I'm 27. That's a real good question. I'm still thinking about the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, something surprising. Mm-hmm. Something that would surprise someone if you were to tell them about you. 
I'm African? I don't know. That's not surprising. <laughs> you look like that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, what's, can I change the question or should he just answer ahead. that? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite quality about yourself? My humility, my okay. genuineness, my intellect. Yeah. Love that. Cool. All right. Let's move on over here. Your name, how old you are, and you want to stick with the first question. Was something yeah. surprising? Yeah. Daryl, 33. Uh, and I'd say you went to astrology? No. Uh, well, I would say because I'm a cancer, but I don't act like a cancer. So when I tell people I'm cancer, they're surprised. Okay. So. Why would they be surprised? Nigga, what age is you going to start talking about your sign? That's what I want to know. I feel like you hit 20. I feel like you hit late 20s. That got to stop. That definitely has to stop. Because I guess they... Cancers cry babies, they all this type of stuff, so you not emotional? Nah. <laughs> so, I heard okay. the deep breath. Right. I'm saying like in the, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be like just crying for no reason and all that type of stuff. Like there gotta be a reason for me to be like emotional. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just moody for no reason, all that type of stuff. So that's why people be surprised when I tell them okay. I'm a cancer. You got kids? Two. Okay. Okay. Is that cool? No. <laughs> 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 Sorry, you said your name, Daryl. Yeah. Sorry, Daryl. That was all good. <laughs> so we do have our two guys left. So based off of those responses, I feel like this nigga is really trying to act mad classy, and I could just look through him and like, bro, you're not classy. There's a certain energy, and he he don't carry that energy. He just come off mad judgmental. I don't know. I feel like I'm looking straight through that shit, bro. Sis, which one are you feeling? Uh, what's your name again? Isaac? <laughs> but uh, for now, his dress. Isaac. His shoes are above it. And why so? <laughs> um, <laughs> I liked his answer about like his favorite qualities about himself. The humility. Um, basically, it just kind of gave like... You think and you self-reflect, which I am very much into. Okay, so yeah. All right. Oh, so are you wanting to pop Terrence's balloon? Yeah, I'm sorry, Terrence. Sorry, Terrence. <laughs> I thought she was selecting. Bro, but this nigga mad cool, though. And it's like, what? Because... Cause, you're shorter than him. Satisfy yourself. I don't agree with that, bro. You're shorter than him, bro. And you sh stop that, bro. Nah, I'm not jacking how they doing my means, bro. <laughs> I gotta do it. Okay, so Isaac, if we can have you come out here. <laughs> All right, Isaac. So, did you have any questions that you wanted to ask her? I got two. All right. Two. How do you feel about square heads? <laughs> I don't really think about it at all. It's cool. Okay. I think your better question was bald heads, head. but like, yeah. it's cool. What's What's one trait you love about yourself? Um, I love that I am extremely genuine in all circumstances and environments. Um, also love that I am very bubbly and very friendly. I think I give good energy to the people around me. Um, they love being around me, so yeah. Okay. And then one more. Do you be in the gym? Yeah, don't I look like it? <laughs> Yeah. People yeah. usually, I'm only saying that not to be cocky, but I'm only saying that because people be like, I can tell before I even say anything. I don't usually tell people, but yeah. Yeah. All right. I have a question. Yeah. So you're African. Yeah. Where are you from? Burkina Faso. Say it again. Burkina Faso. Got you. Um, I'm vegan. Is that an issue for you? Yeah. <laughs> How long you been vegan? A year. A little over a year now. I don't eat any meat. Why? Just um. <sighs> health reasons. Nothing like.
I was about to pick up my phone and call the Chinese restaurant down my block, but I didn't even really want the food. I was already, I was about to hit them with the, can I get a general toss chicken with pork lo mein and, and shrimp fried rice? Because me not know about that. <laughs> me not know about that, but they would have then blocked off my number if I was like, I'm just joking. And I would have had to go over there by feet <laughs> and no, no, no. Me not know about that. Um, okay, Miss Health, would you date a vegan? Um, yeah, this age I would, like, I don't expect no, like, it's not that big of a deal, but, like, I think my wife, I don't know, I don't know, but now, like, I don't care. Like, internally, I just like a healthy love lifestyle, I'm pretty healthy myself, so, yeah, I want to try it out. I have so you never had fufu or anything? anything? I haven't had fufu, I want to try it, um, I just haven't yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. Vegan food is good? <laughs> so why was her being vegan a deal breaker? I'm not vegan. I like you. you like me. Yeah. That's why I asked. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you want your partner to also be vegan no. or no, not at all. They don't have to be. I just need them to be open to how I eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Well, thank you, Isaac. You can head back over there, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. We weren't able to find Joanna today, but we do thank you for coming on. Thank you. Let's give it up for her, guys. <laughs> Okay, single lady, come on out. Hello, hello, welcome in. What's your name? Kalabi. Kalabi, how old are you? I am in my 30s, I'm 34. 34, why <laughs> did you wanna say your age? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do? I'm a photographer. Okay. Um, I have a business and I teach it at a high school as well. Nice, all right, and what do you look for in a guy? Um, it's a lot. It's a lot behind that. But, okay. you know, we'll take it a step at a time. Mm -hmm. But nothing too crazy. You know, somebody that's cool, down to earth, um, has a plan, um, willing to build and grow. All right, cool. Pretty much. All right. So um, what do you like to do for fun? For fun? I'm a big kid, so I like to do stuff like I don't know, anything, uh, go car racing, traveling, um, just random things. Mm -hmm. I'm very open to trying new things. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of my thing this year. Okay. Trying new things. Cool. So All right. Anything fun. <laughs> so we did get a uh, balloon popped over here. Let's go ahead and go on over there and okay. see what's going on. Here. All right. If we can have your name, how old you are, and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Isaac. I'm 27. I popped my balloon because I think... We're in two different spaces in our lives. I'm 27, she's 34. I don't know if realistically, I'd probably be able to take care of her. I don't know. Okay. So. Okay. And now, um, is he your type? Is he were to approach you, is that something you'd go for? Well, <clears throat> so far I only know that he said he's 27. It really, dep excuse me, it depends on what he does uh, for a living. And like I said, his plan. Mm -hmm as far as you know goals and things that he's uh i would kind of go off of that I, I wouldn't just go off of just his age okay okay and then what about for looks like do you is that something that matters to you in any way it does but it doesn't it's not the first thing that i go for but it definitely matters i do have to be attracted to you got it okay and are you attracted to him the thing is people grow on me too mm. so that's another thing i wanted to say i don't you know, necessarily go off looks right off the bat mm -hmm. all the time. Um, but for him, I think he's attractive. I think he's a handsome. I like his his skin tone. Yeah, chocolate. Chocolate's always good. So. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, so we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to you. Did you have a question that you wanted to ask over to the guys to help you narrow it down for yourself? Let's go ahead and move back here. Um... As far as like what they like and what they don't like, or whatever question you okay. have in mind. Uh, what is the, do any of you want children or have children already? Okay, let's go ahead and start right on over here. If we have your name, how old you are, and her answer to your question. I, I think she's fine. I'm 34 and I'm from Alabama. And where are you from? Arizona. Oh, okay. And uh, I want kids. I want I want at least about three, and I don't have none yet. I want to wait till I get married. 
My name is Ishmael, and I'm 29, and uh, yeah, I have a seven-year-old daughter. Do you, how you, like, you, you don't have any kids? I don't. Okay, okay. But yeah, I got a seven-year-old daughter. Okay. Okay. My name is Chris Davion. I'm 24, 10 years younger. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have kids. I do want kids in the future. Okay. <laughs> My name is Ja. I'm 31, <laughs> and of course I want kids. Ideally, like, like three. I feel like this nigga voice deep when when he get around somebody he want he make it deeper. I'm not jocking you, bro. Do you have any currently? No. Okay. My name is Key. I'm about to be 30 next week, and I do have a son. He's two years old. Do you want more? Yeah. You don't. <laughs> nigga, copy, yeah, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Is that a copy, yes? Nigga. Yeah, that's a yes. Okay. That's a yes. Are you copy, okay. nigga. <laughs> it, it, it depends on the mindset, though. You know what I mean? Because you just can't have kids with everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to find that right one. Fair enough. I like that response. Okay. Daryl, 33, and I got two. This nigga corny. This nigga is corny. This nigga is the, the epitome of a corny nigga. Every girl. <laughs> Bro, it's crazy how niggas really be doing this in real life. Nigga, you're corny. I ain't gonna lie, my chain's thin. I'm not doing that shit unless I got a big meech. Not even little meech. Big meech chain. What? Nigga, we got mini chains. You better relax yourself, bro. What's up with niggas? Like, that's corny as fuck, bro. Like, stop that corny shit, bro. All right, now, are kids a deal breaker that's for That's corny, you, or... bro. No. No? Okay. All right. So, based off of those responses that you got from the guys, which one's balloon did you want to go ahead and pop? I got to fix my shit. Back up so you can see all of them. Anyone? <laughs> the kid is right, so the now, um, as far as for the guys left do you want me to go ahead and ask a question for you to help you narrow it down or did uh, you have yeah. another one you can ask one okay all right cool so um as far as what would your family say is three words actually let's do that what are three words that your family would use to describe you Loving, caring, and always smile, well, smiling. smiling. Uh, happy, yes. always energetic. Energetic, loving, and caring. Okay. <laughs> uh, I would have to say chain breaker, uh, loving for Charlie, and uh, responsible. Yeah. Can I answer it and then ask a question too? Is that okay? What question? Can I answer it and then ask a question too? Answer cool. first, then we'll, All right. we'll see if she's um, interested in you asking her. Right, right. I would say, like, uh, reliable. Uh, I want to see what, I want to see if she got a nigga. I want to see what her nigga is. I want to, I, 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 I want to I scope the scenery on her. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, authentic and unique would be conversations. Um, what about you, though? Like, what's what's communication to you? Communication to me, communication is key. It's real important. So it's like an overall, communication can go a long way. So it's not just verbal, mm -hmm. you know. Um, in other words, it's, it's uh, like I said, I don't know, everything. So it's important. It's very important. Right. Like I said, I think it's key. Okay. All right. That's it. Thank you. Three words. All right, so ask the question again. Describe what are three words life. that your family would use to describe you? <laughs> Yo, she play with him. Maybe respectful, honorable, and very humble. You Nigga know, don't believe that shit. I would like to know about that. You know what I mean? I would like to know if that relates to you. Yeah, you know what I mean? That relates to you. It was respectful, honorable, and what was the other one? No, nah, like, if what would your three be? <laughs> Nigga said he type Ashi. Yeah, okay. That's, that's <laughs> a question that people do ask other people, but they don't really relate to that type of question. I have responsible. This nigga trying. Um, ambitious and hard worker, for sure. Okay, yeah, 
I definitely like that. So. <laughs> Daryl, hold on. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what are those three words that your family will use to describe you? I'm used to saying my name and all that first. Uh, there are three things that probably be they be uh, understanding, caring, and uh, responsible. Okay. Okay. All right. So, based off of those responses, I'm gonna go ahead and have you pop one guy's balloon. <laughs> oh. Mm. All right. So why did we end up popping Terrence's? I popped his balloon not because I didn't like his response, just because I simply had to pick someone and I picked you because you're the shortest one. To be honest. We the same height? Let me see. Stop okay. disrespecting him, though. You're a little bit taller. Stop, stop disrespecting him, though. Stop disrespecting him, though. I don't like that. We the same height. That's a grown ass man, bro. I don't like that, bro. I'm Gucci off her. Yeah. You playing? You playing Christmas with him? Pictures. That's a grown man, bro. That's a grown man, bro. You playing? We could have. He joking with the two. Yo, bro, stop joking with that shit, bro. Little stools, but you I know. I could have had those too. <laughs> Or that platform shoes, <laughs> but you know I had to pick somebody, so that's why I chose you. Okay, all right, cool. And now, guys, do you guys have any question you want to ask her to kind of decide if she's a yes for you? Uh, what, what's more important to you, uh, money or personality? <sighs> personality. I like that. I like that. I and that, and that's, that was that was a struggle. Because okay. obviously, I don't want to be broke. No, nah, I mean, I was talking, you know, personality, your personality good to bag there. But I see your hat though, LA. You happen to, where are you from? I'm from Phoenix. Oh, you're from Phoenix? Mm -hmm. okay. I have family from LA though. I'm so. from Cali, so born and raised. That's why. Okay. I, but yeah, Period. I like that. I like that. Okay. Cool. And now, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop another guy's balloon. Oh, okay. I didn't. I, I said, everybody have questions. Y'all didn't raise your hand over oh, here. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, I got a thousand questions, but I don't know what to go off of first. I don't know if I want to see if, like, what is your definition of what love really is or if you're a modern or traditional woman? Okay. Mm. I feel like everyone's, you know, perspective as far as what love is to them is different. You know, I feel like it has yeah. a lot to do with how you were raised, how you grew up, because um, I feel like it molds us low key. Um, and it kind of, having, having a, whether or not if you had a, a dad in your life, a mother in your life, depending on if you're, you know, a man or woman. If you're a woman, you know, I feel like if, whether or not if you had your dad in your life or not, that'll determine how you date in the future and vice versa. Um, what was the question initially? I'm sorry. Traditional or modern woman? Mm -hmm. Modern. I have tra traditional ways um, based off of how I was raised. Look at this. I almost call this nigga an ugly ass nigga. I don't like Mando. Look at this nigga. Mm -hmm. Modern. I have tra traditional ways. Um, based off of how I was raised. She was going to end up you regardless. It's, you know, there's a lot of things that I took from my mom, but there's a lot of things that I have my own ways. Um, in other words, I found my own niche in some areas, yeah, but I took the good stuff for sure. Nigga said he looked like a beaver. Sure. I feel like <laughs> Yo. each generation should do that. You know, it should be better. It should be a notch up, a step up. Yeah, okay. I posed this wrong last time, but are you a clean person? I am a clean person. Okay. I'm a neat freak for okay, sure. Cool. Not a neat freak. Let me. That's I'm not cool, a neat though. freak. No, I'm not a neat freak. Right. I am just. Um, I have OCD in some areas. Organized. Like for example, I could be messy, but it's still gonna be clean. Okay. And just an example, like I can clean my clean my whole house clean my whole room right mm -hmm. but then when it's time to get dressed i can have clothes right. everywhere right. makeup still left there because gotcha. i don't just jetted out the house mm -hmm. came back to a mess mm -hmm. but outside of that yeah I, I would say i'm very i'm very clean okay mm -hmm. yeah. 
You know what? I want that to be my next question. Can I ask that? Go for it, yes. So my next question is, are you guys, would you consider yourself clean? Like how your household, like oh, your house? Definitely. That's, that's very big for me. Uh, I'm very, like you said, I have OCD. Niggas, niggas, very, like, niggas wouldn't too, be honest so regardless if it was dirty. Like when I'm at my, especially like in my place. It's important to me to have like a clean space because it, it matters to like how my mood and how I'm thinking. Like it's clarity. If it's a mess and shit all over the place, I can't. I can't even think. So okay. it's very big for me. And then organization too. Like I, I take notes. I, I study different like it's independent studies. Yeah, I agree with that. My people be saying they have OCD, but that's very rare for you to have actual actual OCD. Like you could say you're clean without saying you have OCD, bro. So I, I remember I, I'm gonna stay silent. I knew this girl, bro, and her her mother would claim that she has OCD because the living room would be clean and she'd mop her floors. But there were roaches every single year. No, 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 no. And you didn't really have OCD because when the o when when the roaches came by your foot, you would barely move your foot. She had roaches, bro. <laughs> OCD can't exist with the roaches, bro. Organization is mm -mm. big for me. I got shit in certain areas. This go here, that go there. Not like hella like tripping about it, but you these niggas all going cop. I'm I'm dead I, I want to know that they stand it. I appreciate it. Very important. No matter what it is, like I feel like you always supposed to stay clean. You're always supposed to have your your the, those aspect of morals. Like yeah, you know I mean, what? <laughs> I can't listen to this nigga. <laughs> she covering her mouth. Hold on. <laughs> uh, first thing first, I, I wash my ass. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That's the you know what I'm saying. That's a must. Uh, definitely clean. Like I, said, I got a son at the crib, so I gotta be on him because, like I said, you know how boys is. They messy, so make sure the house is clean. Everything like that. So yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna have you pop two balloons based off of those responses you got. So we're gonna go ahead and narrow it down. This is tough. I know. Nick is so angry. Like bro, like bro, you was gonna get popped regardless, bro. <laughs> Look at this nigga. <laughs> This nigga is weird. <laughs> All right, so was there any specific reason you picked those two? So I popped his balloon because I like to kiss. I'm a kisser. I'm a real big kisser, so lips is everything. I, I pay attention to that. Okay. So what's going on with his lip? <laughs> Look. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh no! Nah. Hold on. Let me let me do something before I violate this nigga. <laughs> oh my god! Why ain't everybody turning away? Like <laughs> yo, a little crusty. Just a little bit. Just keep them. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I pop his balloon. Because we getting close to the end. And yeah, I just had to narrow you down. Okay. All right. So, we have our two guys left here. So mm. I'm going to go ahead and ask the guys a question for you. So <laughs> if you were to go ahead and take her out on a date, well, where would you take her? What would be your first date? Uh, to be honest, uh, it's like a rooftop. I'm big on like sunset type of views, but uh, it's a nice restaurant. I believe it's called like Pamela or something like that. They got like fi nice fire pits and the food there is really nice. So, you know, type of vibe. <laughs> okay. Um, me... More also like some shoot some darts, play some pool, something like that. Go to arcade or something like that. Something we moving. Mm. Okay. All right. So based off of those responses, who are we gonna narrow it down to? <laughs> All right. And so why did you end up popping his balloon? I popped his because I liked your response. 
Um, it's just his yeah. seem more like pre pre planned. If that makes sense, like it sounds like he would have a plan, like the day plan, know what to do. Hit me up, like, hey, are you free this day? I say yes. He got the day planned out already. You, you seem like a guy that'd be winging it. Mm-hmm. Not that I don't like that, because I like to be spontaneous sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's why I swapped it. Oh, that's understandable. I'm saying, but we don't know each other yet. I can't just assume you like to go to. Nigga, you got dumb, nigga. Nigga, you got dumb, nigga. Nigga, you got dumb, nigga. Silence, nigga. Just take the L, bro. Balloon pop, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. A girl pop my balloon. I don't got nothing to say. Like, I would never say nothing, bro. Rooftops and all that. Type of stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I gotta figure. I gotta, I gotta figure that. I gotta figure that out. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna waste my time on the rooftop if she don't like rooftops. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I guess we're like rooftops, we can, nigga. Too dark. We can talk. We can mingle. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be all. Uh, trying to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First date splurge. She come off like a hater. I'm not gonna lie. She come off like a hater. He be fake like, nigga, be yourself, bro. Then he was like, he go, he, he said what I was going to see. Bro, he's a man, bro. He's a grown man with a kid, bro. You talking about, bro. You know, that type of stuff, trying to make, and trying to impress you the first day. You know, so I'm trying to get to know you the first time. Okay. Nigga, I hate her. That fair enough. <laughs> well, I just right. had to pick one. That's all. <laughs> Let's go right on. Nigga, salty. Ishmael, I'll have you come on out. Ah! <laughs> okay, so, Ishmael, to go ahead and help you narrow this down, did you have any final questions for her? Uh, I was curious. Uh, your thing about kids, do you want to have kids? I do. Okay, yeah, that's that's all that matters. All right. So, is it a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes, definitely. We got a match! <laughs> I'll go ahead and take that. Thank, Thank you. you for coming on. I'll go ahead and let y'all go. Hey, go on off. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> they they need to show everybody face while they clapping, cause I can guarantee you that nigga in that back was not clapping. <laughs> Look at this nigga! This nigga's a hater. I be no bro. If it's one thing about me, I feel like I could read people so well, bro. I feel like that's my skill. Like I always know when there's animosity in a room, bro. Look at this nigga. This nigga's a hater. <laughs> All right, everyone, Yo. thank you for watching this episode of Pop the Book. Nigga look like a big baby. Like, you niggas are, no, that's, you be learning, bro. You can't uncorn yourself after some shit that you do, bro, and that's what's really crazy. Anyways, y'all, this is a long stream, but, you know, I have to do a longer stream if I'm not streaming that often. I appreciate y'all for watching. If you're new here, follow my IG, see when I'm streaming, because not everybody gets notified. If you don't get notified, Unclick the bell, click the bell again. Join the Discord. Chat it up. Um, have some cool convo with people in my Discord. I'll be in there rarely, sometimes on and off, sometimes just bringing it in tea. And I'm going to catch you guys. See, oh, I'm so happy I remember to say this. I'm so happy I remember to say this because I don't be streaming that often no more. I really want to get some film stuff done. If you know people who are genuinely funny, I don't care about their followers. I don't care about how much followers they are, even including yourself. If you feel like you genuinely funny and you like to be in a part of the film and you could tell me like you're funny in what aspect like or what 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 role you feel like you could you could play very well in some type of film, please hit me. If you have videos that would really help, if you have somebody like your funniest friend, please send me their IG or just text me because I want to get some films rolling up. Also, if you know some people that um are just good with like film grading and what's the term what's the term what's the term what's the shading term how i forgot the shading term when you're editing is it daw is it daw what is it like color grading yeah color grading with film please help me color grading yes thank you thank you if you know somebody that's good with color grading please hit me as well um so yeah anybody that would like to be in some film that's humorous as well please hit me or you have somebody that you know please tell them tell them and tell them to hit me and yeah i want to get some stuff done and i appreciate y'all um safety how about editors um i do need that i feel like i could do that by myself right now but i feel like i'm gucci off of that right now editor i'm gucci off of right now maybe for next maybe for when it gets in the summertime and i can link up more people but i definitely want to have a gmtp project i'm not gonna lie
I feel like I'm eager to do something like that. So I'll catch y'all. Safety. I appreciate y'all. Have a good night. And I appreciate y'all for staying. Safety, safety. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that party I look so.